Uh, when last we left our heroes, still in the call, which right? Of, which subset of heroes? We were sleeping. Um, that's a good point. I, I uh, think we'll get there. <laughs> Bruce and Noah, I hope you remember what you were doing last time. But yeah. the party had it investigated and destroyed a demon by the name of Asdus the Beguiler, who was kidnapping arcane casters and teleporting them somewhere else in the world. After defeating them, they were invited to meet with Lady Stelmane of Algon, who turned out to have been under the control of an Illithid, slash Mind Flayer, who was familiar and interested in Asdus's work with the Arcanists. Driving the creature off, the party requested that Lady Stelmane and Vargasel look into what was going on, including a meet up with their old friend Nenarin, the elven mercenary. Uh, after an investigation, the party learned that the demon had been teleporting prisoners to a hobgoblin war camp on the other side of the world and dragging them down into the world below for some nefarious and vile purpose before being attacked by a mercenary party of drow looking to recapture Lady Stalmane for the Illithid Colony. Defeating the drow and taking the leader captive, the party lost their friend Joff to the monster. Using Vargasel to teleport close to the Hobgoblin War Camp, they traveled across strange land, meeting new allies and enemies as they traveled. Discovering a lost dwarven citadel, the party learned that it would be a shortcut through an expansive mountain range, though full of evil necrotic energy. Deciding to risk the citadel instead of the mountainside, they began their push to the other side. During that time, they fought specters and ghosts, and uh, then yeah. troglodytes, and then ghosts again. And yes, you fought Kianoth, who was possessed by the ghost. Uh, and then you fought some flying swords and decided that enough was enough. Time to take a nap. It's like noon, so you're going to spend six hours doing anything you want up until that point. Then you will take a long rest. During that time, Jarlaxle, Lysander, and Bruce decided to go off on a scouting mission. So they are currently not with the party. But they're fine. They're probably just fine. In that case, I'm grabbing some tea. One second. Cool. So, um, Hoss, Kianoth, and Jasmal, you are currently alone in a room with six broken down uh, expansive beds, six uh, chests that you had opened, a table, and a bookshelf. Actually, a couple bookshelves. Now, I forget, did we open, we opened all the chests, right? Yes. No, not yet. You'd opened two chests and then got attacked by flying swords. Okay. Well, I guess we should probably open the other ones. Okay, hang on a second. More flying uh, swords. Real area. There is also a uh, a pool of stagnant water in the corner there. Yeah, I'm not going near the water. Uh, don't go near the water. There, he's right. <laughs> So you open up the remaining uh, chests. Right. Okay. Uh, as you open up the chest, you are somewhat surprised to find that each chest is full of uh, um, clothes and sheets. They seem to have weathered the aging that the rest of the Citadel has suffered quite well. Uh, as you sort of look around in them, uh, you are able to find a couple of pouches, each having uh, gems, uh, two gems, each worth ten gold. So that's about uh, a total of four 10 gold gems. Nice. Cool. There's also, um, like, you found a suit of preserved leather armor. In one of the chests, you also find, like, a, uh, a metal blade, but it doesn't seem to be well balanced. It seems more for show. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff seems to have been surprisingly well preserved. Okay. Um, since Haas has time, th well, does any of this strike him as something that... Does it strike him that any of this might have been magically preserved? Um, it is unlikely to have pres been preserved any other way. Because okay. according to all of the research that you guys have tried to do, this citadel is very, very old. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna, I'll do detect magic on, on the various things just to see if there's anything of note. Okay. Uh, that takes about ten minutes. As Hold on, I need a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. There we are. My scrap notebook full of grocery lists, tutoring notes, and random names. 
All right. Um, as you take ten minutes uh, casting your detect magic ritual, your eyes begin to glow with a uh, a sharper blue light. Not not your uh, usual. Uh, yep. what, what color eyes are they again? It's like a light blue. Yes, like yeah. Yeah, they take on more of like a like a deep blue, like bottom of the ocean kind of blue. Okay. Um. Uh, you scan your eyes over everything. The armor does not seem to be magical. The sword does not seem to be magical. The sheets do not seem to be magical. The chests do seem to be magical. Oh, okay. Um, some kind of preservation magic or something? Um, well, you don't know the exact properties, but it, it doesn't seem to fit into any particular school. It seems like a, a low-level general enchantment. Okay. All right. Well, that's, you cast that's, identify on it and <laughs> find out uh, what the magic chest does. You have identify as an artificer. Oh, he knows. Oh, I guess, oh yeah. I guess yeah. Since since I since like we're secure and resting anyway. Yes, I'll do identify. Okay. That's another ten minutes down. Um, identifies you know, a ritual cast for you, right? Yes. Okay. Um, as you take another ten minutes, uh, drawing your chalk runes and scribing away on a piece of paper and setting it on the chest, you notice the the chest tells you basically that it is both preservation and also cleaning. If you put oh. dirty sheets into the chest, they will become clean sheets. That's really cool. Every graduate Unfo- student's fantasy. Unfor- unfortunately, they're they're too big to be portable or anything, so I guess they'll they'll remain here. But All are right. they too big uh, to be portable? What? Are they too big to be portable? Did you say that? I might have missed it. I didn't explicitly say that, but they're like a sizable chest. They're a foot locker. They they definitely wouldn't fit in the bag of holding. Right. So um I I've already grabbed the the magical armor. I I'm gonna take the uh the uh, what other magical armor. Uh the armor that appeared to be magical that was in the chest. I guess I'll cast identify on it. The, there was there's a suit that, of armor that I, that when Haas lifted it out, it um it, every, it everything happened. So that's that's the only suit of armor. That is the leather armor that I was talking about. Okay, so the, it is not. lifting the armor didn't set off the swords. Opening the chest set off the swords. Okay, all right. So I'm going to collect. Um, I guess some of the cloth that looks like it might be useful. Um, and I'm going to take the leather armor and the uh, the small arms and uh, kind of catalog them and, and see what might be useful. Okay. And that's uh-huh. basically, I, I'm, I'm doing that and I'm fiddling with, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing restful tinkering. <laughs> tink, tink, tink. Very meditative. Yeah. Uh, Kianoth, you watch as Haas rifles through the chest and starts organizing the sheets. Uh, what did you want to be doing during this time? Probably just sitting back and relaxing. I was quite hurt. Probably pacing too. Okay. So Probably you're pacing in this sword. room. <laughs> Are you glaring at anybody in particular while you sharpen your sword today? <laughs> no. <laughs> Haas gestures to the sheets and says, the beds are in crappy shape, but, I mean, you can make something of these for, to lie down. Are you comfortable? Okay. He grabs some sheets and bundles them up and <laughs> uses them as a nice pillow. Make, makes a little nest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as you're bundling up the sheets, Jasmine's uh, fiddling with her loot and making sure that all the Bits and bobs are in place and strumming out her her awesome rock ballad about firebolts, uh, the one that she car, uh, created back in uh, the Dwarven Citadel. And, all right, it seems like everyone's got everything they want to get done done. Mm-hmm. So that was about a half hour of time. After another half hour, so a total of an hour, uh, the door attempts to open. I forget, did you guys bar the door? Uh, no, not really. No. Okay. Uh, Lysander, Bruce, and Darlaxle 
return from their scouting mission. Lysander looks like he's aged 10 years and lost 50 pounds. Jarl Axel seems fine. Bruce seems relatively okay. So how, so how'd it go? Oh, great. <laughs> I'm going to lie down. And then Lysander <laughs> lies down. Uh, I, I offer you my pillow of clean sheets. Mm. Guys. We we tried to find we tried to follow the rule about good adventurers going left, and pretty quickly found some type of fight with a some type of undead, some type of skeleton with a ghost around it. Um, mm. It was pretty serious. It summoned some other ghosts. They were zombie ghosts. It hurt. We sort of had to tactically retreat. By that you mean run away. In good order. Yep. Dwarfs. Yeah, yeah, dwarves, right? It was, uh, a, it was a dwarven shape, yeah. They were, they were short, stocky, and pack a punch. And they were short, axes, pretty dwarfy. Mm. Blew some type of spectral horn and summoned more of it. Uh, it almost looked like a throne room, something like that. Was yelling at us in dwarvish? We forgot we didn't bring anyone who speaks dwarvish. So I could pose a problem. So tried, that, that's going to go on the lessons learned pile. I tried to be charming, and I'm pretty sure I just pissed them off more. <laughs> Your pantomime was very charming. I was pretty sure that the, I was pretty sure that the, I don't know, doing a bit of this meant, oh, please don't kill me, not, oh, God, hit me harder. <laughs> so is this something we're going to have to deal with as we go forward? There were yes. a lot of paths. We, we, we skipped a couple of passages. We went through another doorway, and there was like a busted out room, and a secret passage where we found some dead bodies together, almost like they'd been trapped in there or hid out there, hmm. maybe when the, when the horror came. Um, that's about it. So... Jarlaxel seems somewhat quiet as he uh, walks over and kind of sits down, and he pulls out a uh, small flask from within his armor and takes a drink. Oh, if you need to mess with Jarlaxel, he's afraid of spiders, so... Uh, he, he immediately, he immediately spit-takes the alcohol he was drinking. <laughs> oh, is that a secret? Was I not supposed to say that? Did he explicitly say that? I, I actually had a... You're lying, he points at Bruce and declares him a liar. Uh, oddly enough, I had a question for you, Jarlaxle, about spiders, but that can wait until later. Extensive knowledge. Okay. Um, and he he, he kind of shrugs a bit and says, yeah, I know a lot about spiders. Okay, I'm not going I'm not going to summon spiders on you or anything. I just had some questions. Oh, yeah. Having yeah. to do with, having to do with, uh, uh, drought. He gives you a little bit of a side eye, like, hmm. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is something we may have to deal with. Okay. And Lysander and Jarl Axel had a heart to heart. They were very sincere. Thanks, thanks for telling everyone, I guess. I'm sure. Oh, is that a secret too? Damn it. I well, thought, I thought I was good at reading people. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I am. I just don't give a shit. Never mind. You're, you're, good, you're, you're good at hearing them. Reading them is an entirely different story. <laughs> Everyone made hey, a uh, pause. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well. based, based on the sure. party's descriptions, you could make a nature check to try and figure out what it is they fought. I would love to. We didn't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, knows. Natural 20, 22. Damn. All right. There's like a skeleton with a glowing ghost around it and a heart, something glowed in its heart. I uh, just got. If Revenant? you open up the Skype chat, you can see a picture of what it is they fought. Skype chat. This is zombie ghost. Cool. That's neat. But more dwarfy. You yes, more dwarfish. Right. Uh, you would recognize that as a sword wraith, which is a a glory obsessed warrior who dies in battle without earning the honor it sought. The valor-hungry spirit will haunt the battlefield, uh, possessing its body and giving it this sort of spectral appearance. 
is basically, as uh, Noah described, a, a, a ghost possessing a skeleton. It's a zombie um, ghost. Tentative. Yes. Um, they are so obsessed with staying on the field of battle that they are known to resist clerical magics and mm-hmm. have a um, uh, can attack with martial ferocity that gives them uh, more attacks than you think they should have but other people will have advantage against them. Pretty like sure they, over, they overextend themselves. The, yes. Uh, like a barbarian thing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure and it's According it's to sorry. their description, they are able to uh, summon spectral allies from days long past to help them in battles that they think they're losing. Hmm. That's, that's rough. <laughs> so yeah, I described it as, 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 a, as a spectral what? Warrior? Uh, a, a sword wraith. It's a, a sword wraith. Sword wraith. It's a, a ghost possessing a dead body. Right. And okay, they also so tend I, to have a, a glowing red, like something in their chest that kind of gives them this extra oomph of scariness. Okay, that's cool. So I, I uh, a hoss like kind of info dumps it back. You know, like gives a name to your to your pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they have some ability to. Supernaturally age you, I think. Hmm. That's kind of. Is that right? Or am I confusing the, that with the? Ghost? No, that was a ghost. That was okay. the, that was the ghost that, that oh, happened to me. Okay. So, right. so Lysander just looks older. He didn't also become older in this. No, he no. doesn't actually look older. I was I just, just saying, saying that because he was. Very Turn of phrase. He he took some heavy necrotic damage from uh from the attacks. It sucked. So that explains why it looked like it swung once, but it hit me twice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lovely. Which is also why I'm speaking with a bit of raspy voice, because also I had my teeth fixing that, but... Hmm. Yeah, Lysander got pretty screwed up. <laughs> what was that, one turn, and I was like, yep, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you went, from, you went from zero damage to mostly damage in the span of about one turn. I think I had four hit points left at the end, and yeah... They hit yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, we're trying you to say help. that now. You say that now. Does Does Haas know if this is normally a tough challenge, or we just stumbled in because we were so depleted? It was a big deal. Because you have a sense of where they are in the hierarchy of undead. I mean, it sounds like they're pretty probably. I don't know if they can hear me. He, no, I can hear you. I'm debating whether or not to answer the question because basically what Paul is asking is what's their CR rating. Ah, uh, I'll take that, but that's not real. I just want to get a sense of a rough. You know, like, are they things we shouldn't... Um, it would be nice to know if we really should avoid the room or not. If he thinks it's like a lich level, that we'd avoid the room. If he thinks it's like, you know... Well, okay, so Hoss will say... A ghoul or yeah, gas or something. Hoss will say that it's my guess that if it was in enough... Sh- if, if, if it was in bad enough shape that it summoned allies, then you might have been doing, you know, a notable amount of damage to it. You'd be surprised how well we were doing. Oh, no, actually, what I meant was we, we did amazing. We completely almost killed it. That's why we ran away screaming, and I'm almost dead. We didn't want to steal the kill um, from you guys. Yes, is, you needed the XP. I'm speaking on the arrow. Ugly elf one first. <laughs> Jarl actually looks over at Lysander, and he says, uh, I think he's talking about you. Oh, snap. What? <laughs> He shakes his head and looks at Draxel. No, you ugly out. <laughs> Jarlaxel just rolls his eyes. Hoss, Hoss gestures to the chests and says, By the way, I'm not saying anything, but um, these are magical chests that preserve their contents and clean them. Sweet. Yes. That sounds useful. For, you know, those of you who... I start taking all my clothes off. <laughs> yeah. Jarlax still just watches. <laughs> he likes to watch. Be <laughs> ever impressive. Something about bears. I don't know. <laughs> Are you a bear? <laughs> I'm Is very that, hairy. Yeah. I'm a disciple of bear. <laughs> Does Haas know if it's overnight that it gets clean? Like, is it a useful period of time for us or not? Good question. Uh, it is done within the span of about an hour. Wow. I even put the, the dwarven cloak in there too, the tattered one. 
Okay. Do you we close the really chest? Just, <laughs> you don't need magic to clean things. Just jump in a river. Mm-hmm. Uh, water. <laughs> There's a puddle over here. It's fine. Kianoff, do you close the chest? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, I'm not wearing... I mean, it's essentially, like, a pair of, like, undersized pantaloons and a flowy shirt. Okay. You close the chest and it starts rattling back and forth. Mm. <laughs> and it dings at the end. I poke it. <laughs> yeah, Hoss Hoss puts a couple things in the clean. <laughs> so I asked... Uh, I notice the rhythmic nature of this rattling, and just turn over in bed and go, oh, Jasmal, can you lay down a sick beat? Just follow that. <laughs> she starts playing on her lute in a, in a, in a style similar to Road del Dorado, the, the guy with the... <laughs> Ooh, you know, starts playing along with his flute. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me roll performance? Yeah, you roll performance, Jasmal roll performance, and... Jarlax is probably going to start dancing if it gets good enough. Bruce has pipe proficiency. He's going to play along too. I got a one. I got <laughs> a minus one. Oh, no. You're not even sure. I it's beat a... you. I got a two minus zero. <laughs> You're not even sure it's a real flute. We ruin it. <laughs> I just use. I have an instrument. I just use minor illusion to play back something I heard uh, Jasmal play earlier. Let's see if I can sync. Jasmal gets a sixteen, <laughs> which is not good enough. Yes, you guys do in fact ruin it. She's doing fine, and then uh, Kianoth hops in, and he's playing, he's playing offbeat and the wrong kind of notes, very sharp. And so Bruce decides to hop in and try and cover because he had that sick, awesome pipe solo that one time, and he like drops his flute halfway through and has to stumble around picking it back up, and just I'm just looking at all of you, and she's trying to trying to recover the song. And then, it, yeah, yeah, fly sander in the corner, turned over away from you guys in the bed. You just see his hand go up, and then you see fire, a little bit of fireworks from uh, Minor Illusion go. <laughs> I don't know. We're not ready for the big time. We are. We cannot yet be the Fightles. Darl Axel never... points, points at the two of you, and he says, you're not ready for the big time. <laughs> We're never going to save the orphanage unless we get better, unless we practice more. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the band back together. The band! Yeah. It's been a long day's fight, and I've been looking for some more. You know, slugs. <laughs> <laughs> There's a well known for their, for their love. Their fight, love of pipe solos. And I'll be sleeping like a dwarf. And when I, I get on to you. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I have no idea what you're referencing. I was, I'm singing I was the Beatles. Doing it's problems. not happening. I'm mm-hmm. singing Beatles. It's not happening. Let's take it again from the top. Wrong Day's Night. Nobody's listened to this. It's yeah. a Beatles. Yes, we recognize yes. Long Day's yes. Hard Day's Night. Mm-hmm. I don't. I was I was referencing Blues Brother. That's what I was. I, I know. I know. None of it helped. Aw. Oh. No. What do you mean none of it helped? That was awesome. <laughs> in our attempts to get the band back together, we've summoned every single ghost in this place. <laughs> I rode the whole dungeon. <laughs> hey, if you guys had rolled some natural 20s during that check, you might have just turned this whole dungeon into a dance party and just sauntered on out. <laughs> Music soothes the savage war. Everybody's doing All right, this. Um, so at this point, you have about six hours of downtime, including an hour for dinner. Right. Is there oh. anything in particular you guys wanted to do in that time? Yeah. Oh. So, Hoss um, has some questions for Jarlax- Jarlaxel. Well, uh, Noah raised his hand first, so... Okay. I, I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, let's borrow the door first. Okay. Sure. Because I just realized that we hadn't done that. You know, uh, but hmm. naked. Yep. Moves back towards it. What? Are you just going to lean against the door? Yes, yeah. that's, that's not gonna help. Uh, Relaxo pulls out a pair of iron spikes and he goes over and he hammers them in up in the upper seams. There you go. He says that should hold them for Relaxo. like five seconds. <laughs> I'm still sitting there while he's doing it. Yeah, he's standing over you as you're sitting there and he just kind of looks down at you mid hammering. He says, "Hey, you are a crab." <laughs> <Patty, Patty. laughs> he says, 
Not interested. Ugly dwarf. Or ugly elf. <laughs> Tall dwarf, I think, is what you wanted to call him. <laughs> so, all right, there's that. Uh, I'm assuming because well, he actually has... leans down and he says, "You're kind of giving me mixed signals by being completely naked." <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that is that is thing. Uh, during right, the six uh, hours, do we have time for a short rest so we can spend hit dice prior to the long rest? If you have hit dice to spend, you can spend them. My impression was that most people had spent all of their hit dice already. And guess who has all five, because I didn't need to use it last time, and now I'm almost dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of hit dice. You might want to spend less than half your hit dice. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Jasmal gives anybody who spends them uh, five. Oh, five right. additional. Okay. Yeah. With her song of rest, she's continuing to play a much more somber, soothing song without the backup voice. Thanks. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's, That's oh. a fair amount. I'm happy with this. Many. Lysander looks not so dead. For now. For the moment. Okay. Um, That's three hit dice. For those counting. All right, so that's about an hour for Lysander as he bandages his wounds, reads his book. Uh, was there anything else anybody wanted to do? I know uh, Hoss had some questions. Are right. clothes come out dry yet? <laughs> oh, yeah, your, your clothes come out. They're dry. Clean. The cloak is still tattered, but it doesn't have as many blood stains. They're clean but soaking wet. The dryer is the other one. <laughs> if there are, any, uh, are there any, like, egregious chairs in it, or is it usable? The cloak. No, it's, it's about half of its length. Okay. You can clearly tell like it's that missing it's fabric. From our probably sword thrusts. Okay. So, like, like mending will take a long time on that. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, no mend. What's that? Like way it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it just it, it, if it's ever about to fall apart, let me know. I can, I can help you. It, it makes um, it look cool when it blows in the wind. <sighs> so Haas is tinkering with a thing. Um, and, uh, I guess sits next to Daryl Axel and says, so, had some quick questions about spiders. Yeah. And their relationship with the drow. I'm, so I'm, you, using, I'm using the right term, right? Drow. Uh, first, as you're approaching him, you can see him sitting with his back against a wall, his legs kind of splayed out. He's got his hat down over his eyes like he's trying to catch some, some Z's. You go and you sit down next to him and you say, so, he kind of starts up and he pushes the hat, <laughs> hat up out of the way. Uh, I have some questions about spiders, and then what was the second part you said? And their relationship with the drow. And then the, I said, I am using the right word, right? Yeah, they, they, we call eight-legged things spiders. Okay. <laughs> um, so, what about, what are the feelings on spider constructs? Unmanifest. Are you asking about the drow's feeling on spider constructs? Drow's feeling. Okay. He well, sort of... Very metally and very robot-y. <laughs> sort of sc it. scratches at his bald head and he says, You know, there's some questions you think you're never going to be asked. <laughs> uh, he says, um, as he sort of thinks about it, like, how the hell would that be received? And he's sort of just like... I feel pretty confidently that Aranshi would not like that, and subsequently none of the drow who worship her would like a spider construct because it is a false image. It is kind of, it's taking the divine and pulling it down to man. Or, he actually says elf. Um... I don't know, it sounds however, pretty cool, says Lysander from across the room. However, I will say that that sounds pretty badass, and you should not base your life decisions around what Aron she wants, because she's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I heard that. <laughs> Alright, well, what I was wondering is, like, um, how it, like, how it, the, uh, the, the drow on the street's opinion would be of <laughs> such a thing. Were it to be around, okay. Uh, 
a male, a, an idiotic male like myself or any other male you'll ever meet, because, you know, males are the worst. Okay. Uh, a, if they recognized it as being a construct, probably wouldn't do anything about it, because they would want to wait and see. Like, they, they would have about as much as an idea that I do about it, mm-hmm. and so they would be more inclined to wait and see what the general opinion was. If a female caught it, then there's a high likelihood that she would pull out her snake whip and immediately attack it and or you. Okay. Or, like, do, do, are spiders not, in general, welcome? No, no, no. Spiders are revered. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you kill a spider, then that is punishable by death. Okay, mm-hmm. but so like a false, like 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 a like a a, a well, like a spider golem would not be thought of well off then. No. Okay. No. no. All right. Okay, I was I was kind of wondering. All right. You all Personally, have... I say go for it because I want to see the chaos that happens. Now, a, a scorpion construct, on the other hand, totally fair game. At the same time, a, a spider would be really good at hiding, so it may not matter. When I'm in giant spider form, it's just like second nature. It's just like, oh, I'm in the shadows. No one sees me. Yeah, Hoss like looks through his notes and says, like, I don't know. This is pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me. I don't make the rules <laughs> of yeah. life. Now, out of character, are we talking about wild, wild west big or what? We're probably talking like size of horse big. Okay. Well, so, well, you so, should... well, so here's the thing: like a giant, like a giant spider, say, like it takes up like a ten by ten space. But that includes like legs. It's a lot of legs. So like an actual an actual giant spider, I'm imagining the body's like that. It's big barrel. Yeah. yeah it's, it, the body's the body's probably like like yay big and then just a whole lot of leg. And you don't have to guess, you guys have seen me transform into a giant spider. Right. Yeah, but, sure, but, but I mean like <laughs> but I mean like like imagining. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm his, his reference to a wild, wild west spider, that's a spider big enough to hold people and transport them. We're talking, we're talking so, like literally like, a skyscraper, but a spider. We're talking your spider, spider yeah. is the rough equivalent of a horse. His spider is the rough equivalent of, like, a building. It, like the a, Empire a State building. building, except length. I mean, Not we're all familiar with the wild, wild west, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a giant bear. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry for your uh, movie education. I, I'm gonna like. It, it, we all said yes. I think. Yes. I know. That's why I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was a child. I was a child. I watched it. It was a fine movie. It was stupid. Oh, it's, I, I have from 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 when I worked in movie theater. I have two movie trailers. I think upstairs. One of them's Star Wars Episode One, and the other one's I think Wild Wild West. That's a yes. Neither <laughs> was it a particularly movie. good trailer. Well, it's it's those are the ones that like I, I finished taking that trailer off the movie and I was like, we're gonna throw these away. I like the Wild well, well, Wild West as far as like moving working in the theater. There's not really many points where you can look in on that movie and not go, oh, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> the original was so was pretty good. But yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, by the end of this campaign, that's your goal: make a giant spider, like okay. a giant, giant. And, and spider. then he and then he's gonna dominate the continent. And a plucky group of heroes is going to have to come together and stop them. That's exactly where this campaign is going. It must destroy Haas, the Mechanist Mastermind. I mean, that doesn't sound like a bad campaign to me. But we uh, all know you want to make a robot in my image because you just thought my giant spider is so cool. So spiders are pretty useful. Oh, I mean, like, you know, like, like Haas has had practical experiences, like. This is very helpful. That's what it turned. And into. I have like ideas, you know. <laughs> That's what it turned into to get us away from the dwarf sword yeah. right thing. And you know, I mean, we could always like we've got these we've got these sheets. Like uh, if I were to be able to eventually make such a thing, we could just throw some sheets over it. No one tell us. Sure. <laughs> just call it a, call it's it a, a robust ghost. Yes, it's close to Halloween. This is perfect. I don't know about chicken. <laughs> oh, and finally, before we get going again, because I know we got to move on, uh, call it Uberwolf. Yes. Uh, Wolf is not a thing. Uh, what? I didn't Wolf, hear. Wolf is, Wolf is not a thing? No. Here, you me. She has a different name. Oh, damn it. That's it's the name you said right? Avanchi. Uh, uh, Mega uh, Orangey. Uh, Mega Orangey, then. Cool. Orangey? Anyways. <laughs> uh, back to the game. Did anybody else have any more questions or anything they wanted to do with this downtime? Nope. Uh, 
Nope, downtime is pretty much uh, me patching up my wounds, making sure I'm not dead. Okay, you're patching wounds. Did you have any more questions, Hoss, about uh, about drow and spiders? No. I'm kind of wondering, like, if if I were to make a spider. I'm not saying that's something that's happening. But um, if it didn't look a whole lot like a spider, that probably would make it better. Unless Do you want to are... make it statistically it equivalent to a spider, but something not a spider? Like change its skin, basically? Well, no, something that looked... Something that was obviously a construct. It might still have eight legs, but like you know, like it looks as much like a spider as a drone does. Yes, it looks okay. as much as a human, like you do. Um, okay. Well, well, let me see what I can do. So that's it. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, everyone's clothes and armor, whatever they put into the uh, the the chests of cleaning, are completed. You can put them back on. You spend some hours just kind of sitting around. Uh, when dinner time comes, do you guys start a campfire? Inside of it, wait, inside of an enclosed room that we barred shut. We just asking. Is there a Korean fan death if we do this right? <laughs> I mean, I'll be. Don't talk to me about food. This selection here sucks. Oh. I tried to make sushi and literally everything went wrong. Oh. I would have guessed that sushi is probably a, was going to be a stretch from the beginning. I'm going to well, say no. Well, it's, it's how does that go? Rice, wrong? meat, avocado. It's like it's not that hard. Yeah, uh, but and, yeah, and everything no. went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh god, I'm, it made me sick. Oh, getting Anyways. really high quality fish is a thing. Mm. No, that was the thing. I was trying to make California rolls, which are made out of imitation crab meat. Yep, so I didn't need fish, and it still turned out terrible. I used the rest of the crab, and I made a, a crab meat salad, which was pretty good. Uh, crabby patty. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now you're still uh, eating of Bruce's good berries and, and drinking of his create water. Uh, I make water, you guys drink it. Yep. <laughs> but well, here like. We do still have the rations as a as a supplement to it, so yeah, it's, it's so it's not. Uh, if you're bored, yeah. I'm eating homemade jerky. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like Hoss is not depleting your supply of food. You know, like Hoss will eat sometimes. He's not eating right now. Sure. My supply my supply of food is inexhaustible. So, so uh, I'm guessing you guys do not set a campfire, based on that. Sounds like no. Okay. Does anyone, does anyone need to see? I guess we have light spells for the people who need to see. Okay. Yeah, jasmine has been uh, pinging up the light spells every hour. There's three, Kianoth Sword, Hoss's Torch, and one other. I can produce flame. I can hold flame in my hand all the time. Okay, so so two lights and a produce flame. Mm -hmm. um, Those right. arches on the in the wall. Okay. Um, how big is the chamber? Now that I think about it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, between Bruce's light at one end and your torch in the other end, you're able to see most of the chamber. Where's the door? Right. Whoops. <laughs> Where's the door? Oh, uh, the door is right... You didn't say Hang on. Here. Thanks. No problem. Meant to... Oh. There it is. Oh. Oh, there's doors. Okay. Where? It's right here. Where the big black block is? At the bottom. Yeah. Behind the big black block. Oh, okay. The there, we go. there we go. We see a, a black block right here. Yeah, I know. That's intentional. Okay. There's a vague space in front of the door. We can't quite make it out. Uh, a black hole. There's a... As, as far as your characters are concerned, whatever is right in that black block is nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It, you can just see the door on the other side. Sure. <laughs> okay. That's not on, ominous. Not so, I guess we set watches. And... Uh, you leave the room, you go outside. And... <laughs> we already spiked it shut. The oh, yeah. it shut for some reason. So, so I'm going to rest a minute and call it. Damn it. I, I had something for this. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> check this. Who do you think I am? Elisha Otis? 
The inventor of the elevator? No, I'm just doing an archer. I, 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 I don't know it. what that is. It's an archer one. They're always like, wait, I had something for this. And then, like, who do you think I have? <laughs> you know, some obscure. You know, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, all right. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to find the notes in time. So, um, you guys are hanging out, chilling like a villain, hanging out some dinner. Uh, Jarlaxle. No, it was uh, trying to do something for Rose in it. Side blasted the uh, the television. <laughs> oh. Are we all good? Hello. Are we good? I, We're nobody's responded. It. We're working on it. Hang I can on. hear you. What? Can hear you. What? Yes. <laughs> is there I, is there a problem with the cameras? With I'm messing with you. No, uh, there's there's a problem with the. Um, the visuals, hang on. Okay. You know what? Let's do... Oh, you switched the input by accident or something? We're not going to hear you for a second. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Oh, wait a minute. They escape. Interesting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Whew. There we go. Okay. I, I do not. All right. Uh, bear sudden. with us. We're recovering. Because the Skype Skype should still be up. It's probably just in the background, but the audio is going through the TV. Ah. Oh, okay. That was so cool. I guess this gives me time to try and find my notes. You wait. <laughs> okay. Make you so wait. we're getting audio back. And let me throw you guys back up here. Oh. Okay, we're back. Yes. Can, you, can you hear us okay? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. We've been right. able to hear you this entire time. Yep, we can hear you. Good. Let's see if I can do that without side effects. I might want to go in the other room. Let's see. Is this what you just tried? You can continue. Yeah. You're just doing something for Rose. So we're taking our downtime. A big black space is in front of the door for some reason, which makes us all nervous. And then, apparently, all right. Um, da, 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 da. Ah. <laughs> I'm just um, since there was a problem, I tried again to see if I could find the rule, the the stuff that I had for this. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, it was about that time. Yeah. No. This time, so, my lungs were aching for air. I changed it. See. Oh. <laughs> 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 so you're you have your your traditional meal of good berries and water. Uh, sitting around the campfire, Desmal seems to just sort of look at all of you and say, "This is nice." <laughs> and then she dies. Nothing bad can happen. <laughs> I feel I get to feel like nothing bad can happen to us again. Yeah, you know, you know, guys. I think we're gonna come out the other side of this just fine. So I could just get the feeling that everything's totally fine. Was that the line from <laughs> from the late classic? Or something? No, no. the The line is that somebody has to say they have three days from retirement. Yes, yes. Get a little place back in uh, Prostelvis, you know, around Orlane. Maybe settle down, do some farming. <laughs> yeah, you can you can join up with Joff in his uh, his little safe house out near Orlane. Yeah, it's except, so that, nice. except that Joff is currently not. Safe, yes. So. <laughs> it's yeah, it's almost like he got a little place out in Prostelfist and then got kidnapped. <laughs> Died immediately. <laughs> oh, that's great. You know that lines up perfectly, yeah. <laughs> uh, so after your after your short rest slash dinner, you all uh, are starting to get close to bedtime. You've still technically got a couple hours left. Uh, nothing seems to have attacked your campsite uh, in your time that you've spent here. And then, as all things, about an hour before you're able to complete your long rest, something happens. Uh, you all notice in front of the door a crackling, destructive energy from floor to ceiling starts like basically like a bolt of lightning but trapped inside a bottle. 
is blasting its way up and down the room. After a second or two, it begins to widen and uh, stretch and coalesce into this angry, destructive-looking portal oh, nice. of a, uh, a, a a very light blue slash um, white energy. And Hoss, you being the technician, you would understand that uh, the more blue slash white an energy or a flame is, the higher intensity it has. Okay. And this portal does not seem like a, a normal arcane portal, like a portal that you would create or any of your higher power fellows would create. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost more equivalent to like a, a black hole made of lightning, like it's sucking in everything. It's very jagged edges, and like somebody is tearing through and destroying something to get through here. Okay. Uh, uh, Bruce, your your natural sense or whatever. Your your old god worship is definitely like oh this is this is what Grandpappy was talking about when he said fear the new gods horses they uh, shouldn't mess with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stepping through the portal, you see uh, three figures. I know there's only two here, but don't worry about that. Uh, two of the figures are dressed in um, uh, silk robes. They have a lot of uh, black clothing, um, bandaging around the arm. And uh, their faces are completely obscured, but you do notice a sizable um, stitching in their left uh, peck that is something you all have seen. Well, not all of you, but uh, Lysander, you've seen it before, and Jasmine discussed it Gosh. with you all. It okay. looks a little bit like that. Uh-huh. And uh, Lysander and Jasmine would both recognize it as the symbol of the Black Lotus. Yeah, I'm assuming things, things are happening very fast right now. And yeah, this is this is me setting the scene. So just give me a second. Totally. Uh, those are two of the figures. The third figure is a uh, a humanoid. They look like they're mostly human. They're dressed in uh, flowing robes. They're carrying a staff in their hands. Uh, but their skin seems wrong. They, they're in one hand. It seems like they have a draconic hand of four fingers, two thumbs, and two regular fingers, like a human. Their arm that is exposed up to about the elbow, you can see, has patches of blue dragonborn scales. And then their face, which is predominantly humanoid, you can see that one eye has been replaced with, like, a cat's eye or a dragon's eye and is surrounded by scales about this far. They seem to have been, like, a human who was, like, cross-contaminated with a blue dragon. Mm -hmm. I... <laughs> and they step onto the scene, and one of the Black Lotus figures... Hang on. There we are. One of the Black Lotus figures steps forward... And he looks towards Jasmal and begins saying something in a language you don't understand. Does it sound like Jasmal's language or her accent? Um, you've never actually heard Jasmal speak in her language. Oh, oh. so uh -huh. sure, can't know. Yeah, you it you presume as much when Jasmal starts speaking back in the same language. <laughs> oh. oh boy. After about a second, the Black Lotus agent turns to all of you and... Hold on. No, it's in here somewhere. There they are. Uh, they turns to all of you, uh, the Black Lotus agent turns to all of you, and he, deep, he bows very deeply. And he says, good evening to you all. My name is Diego Orlino Pablo Yanez. What was that? Oh, that was my microphone being moved. Sorry. Oh, it was it was like a really it was like a like a Skype pin or something. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, and he says, you s "Yes, exactly. Don't do it again." <laughs> uh, he says, "You seem to have been traveling with an escaped slave. I'd like to offer you a bounty for capturing her and returning her to her proper masters." And those would be. He points at Jasmal, and he says, I will give you a hundred gold for the girl. Not on my watch. Might as well go back through your portal. 
Also, you didn't answer my question. Who is she owned by, by your definition? That was a question I did not expect. Hold on, i got to pull up my Obix notes. You didn't expect me to ask who we're giving Oh, right, no, no, I remember who he is. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, he says that she is owned by the unbroken sorcerer king, now known as Democles. All right, got it. So the artist formerly known as Prince is requesting her back. No, uh, I don't think you understand how we do things around here. Hello, my favorite. And uh, the Black Lotus says, no, I do not think you understand how I do things around here. <laughs> I am giving you an opportunity to get out of here with your, how you say, skins intact. <laughs> Otherwise, and in a flash, he pulls out a chain, like a hook on a chain, Oh, and a short sword that is coated in some sort of shiny substance. And he says, otherwise things will get very, very dangerous here. This is uh, a highly irregular. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. most unorthodox. Yes. <laughs> also, uh, Lysander takes a quick little glance around the room. Is everyone else looking like they're ready to start swinging? Mm -hmm. First, it no, seems so. Plus, way. seems surprised. Okay, Hoss seems surprised. I hope you get your gun. Um, Bruce, how about you? Oh, yeah, I look I look like I'm gearing up. All right, and Jasmine, I'm assuming, is also going to go, no, 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 let's not do that. Yeah, what's she going to have got her loot, and she's kind of ready to, like, fire a firebolt out of it by stringing it. Yep. And you can see Jarlaxle is very, very subtly kind of crossing his arms, mm -hmm. but his hands are also very, very conveniently right by his weapons. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Haas is, I guess, he's ready to draw. So, uh, what... How, how did you find us here, specifically? Um, it seems Diego like you're very... Pablo Yanez points back towards the, uh, the human dragon cross, and he says that uh, none can escape the disciple's punishment. The disciple? Well, that is the disciple's hand. Okay. I don't know who the disciple is. I know a disciple of Bear. Mm -hmm. he, he looks over at Enoth as you point, and he says, I, I do not know this sorcerer king known as Bear. He is a <laughs> disciple of Democles. Oh, that's fantastic The unbroken and all. sorcerer king. That's fantastic and all, but uh, I think he came to the wrong group. I, I'm going to go ahead and Eldritch Blast him. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Let's do this thing. Oh, I was going to offer to... Uh, oh, wait, what are you going to do? I was going to throw a sack of gold on the floor and offer to take the gold instead, but... You know, that's not... That's probably... Slow, you know, too slow. I, I was kind of waiting for that. I was waiting for opportunities. It's like catch or puzzle. All right. Um, Ooh, that's, that's, and I got another seven for my initiative, because I'll never get anything else. Yeah, don't worry about it. I keep telegraph your move. Yeah, all dead anyways. Yeah, you kind of lean back and you start summoning up your blast, and the uh, the the black lotus starts pulling his chain back to throw it. You can see that his throw is much faster than your hand. Oh boy. Uh, here, hold on, I gotta pull up NPC character. Yes. What was that? Things begin happening even more quickly. He did try and talk to you. Yes. And um, none of us got any benefits of, of the rest so far, right? Except for the short rest. You've gotten the benefits of a short rest, and that's it. Yep. Cool. There we go. I got my. <laughs> what I have my book. I have my bourbon. <laughs> they certainly see where you end up. I don't know if they see them. With all the, the machinations in between the states. Yeah. Yeah. What Which was it? Does that mean? Uh, Pasta spinning a character. I'm going to say yes. Oh, okay. So Jasmine also rolled a seven. Uh, Lysander, you can go ahead and go first because you're an actual CC, now. not me. Sorry, uh, I heard part of that, Michael, because everyone else talked over a second. Uh, Jasmine also rolled a seven. Okay, so I'll be going before her, right? Yes. Is that Lysander? Um, it's probably Lysander. Zoom in a little bit. And then up, actually. Well, what's your total? Uh... Yeah, 
Okay. So you'll be going before Jarlaxle, who rolled a 17 plus 4. I don't seem to have control over any of these things. Yep. I see Haas. Which one is Kiano? Hang on. You should probably have them marked. I thought that I uh, put my name on my capture's token last time. Uh, you did, but I deleted them and then re-added them, so I... Oh. So, Jasmine is the one with the loot over here. Uh, this one right here is moving back and forth. Mm-hmm. That's yep. Jasmine. Yep. Kianoth is this tiny little dude here, because I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, Bruce is this guy here with the bear skin on him. Okay. Okay. This is Jarlax. What? No. This is Jarlaxel, who yep. uh, you can see is lining up to attack the unseen Black Lotus. So the pair of them are going to kind of fight each other for a little while. Nice. Uh, this is Hoss the robot, as you can tell, because he's been spun around. And this is Lysander down by the table. Okay. Did, could you give me control over him? I thought I did. So oh. if, like, I, I don't have it. Lights. Hold we on. can't display the names, oh. but if we go set. Oh, it's there. Play Sander, controlled by Noah. Save changes. Let's see. Yeah, now we got him. Uh, for, for future reference, Michael, uh, you can, I've done this before, you can create a dedicated room just for character tokens, and then give them all the stats they need, and then copy and paste them into a scene as needed. Oh yeah, I was I was just learning about the ability to make multiple rooms with this page toolbar, and I, I didn't have a chance to utilize it, but yeah, I'm, I'm aware of it. Okay. I just haven't experimented with it. All right, so Jarlaxel and the other Black Lotus agent kind of uh, seem to be charging towards each other, so they're going to head over into their own little subspace to attack and do things. Okay. So we're not able to target the big dragon-y looking one? No. Uh, Because I'd love to be able to shoot him. This one is the dragon-y one. He doesn't seem particularly interested in fighting. Okay. This one is the Black Lotus agent who did all the talking, uh, Diego Orlino Pablo Yanez. Um, okay, so I, I can probably that. Yes. Uh, Hoss and Bruce, what did you guys roll? It's getting cold. I think we both got 12. You got 12? 12. We both got 12. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Bruce, he's got a, you he's have... Got a higher, he's got a better 12 than I do. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Uh, Hoss. I have 14. Hoss, you have uh, the first action. Bruce, you'll be right behind him. And then, let's see, they rolled a 16. Is there an occasion? Oh, so this yeah, actually well. Those are, like, all painted shut. So what I'm going to do, let's see. Hang I on. Will... It's definitely not your turn. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Kianoth's turn first, but I okay. still needed to get the Black Lotus. Oh. Okay. Uh, first up is... Kianoth, it is your go. I'm going to go direct, yeah, directly diagonal to that guy in the black. Like that. Yep. Uh, yeah. Not quite. There you go. One more up. One more up. Yep. Then I'm gonna rec- I'm gonna, as I'm running, I'm going to rage, and then, of course, I'm going to reckless attack. Uh, you don't have any rages left, you told me. Oh, crap. I didn't rest. So I guess I'm not going to reckless attack. Ugh. I'm sure I did that. Uh, That's the saddest D&D I've heard. <laughs> I've heard. A, uh, 12? A, a 12? No. Yeah. As you come swinging in with your great sword, the, the Black Lotus agent just deftly steps aside and it slams into the, into the ground and he looks up at you and he says, you should have taken me up on my offer. <laughs> Damn it. Did he make it look easy? A little bit, yeah. Uh, 21? Uh, <laughs> second attack? Yes. <laughs> nice. With that swing, uh, again, he's able to duck out of the way, but you mechanically you hit him. He's just very a very dex-based character, so he dodges out of the way as you sort of carve across his robes. Mechan- yeah, look closer. Wait. He said you missed, right? No, I said he hit the second attack. Oh, right. Well, well mechanically, no. what it looked like is he dodged, but he's, he's tired. Oh, How much damage? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So yeah, you you carve open part of his shirt and it kind of his uh, his black robes and kind of flops open and you can see that he's uh, bare chested underneath. And I respond, "This is talking." <laughs> <laughs> Do 
All right. Uh, they're, they're next up. Here, <laughs> next up, you watch as Jarlaxle charges at the second one. He fires a crossbow bolt halfway. The the Black Lotus agent catches the bolt in front of his face and snaps it. And Jarlaxle just swings with his scimitar, and the Black Lotus agent uh, uses his short sword like he has it reverse grip, so the blade's down here. Just catch the blade part way, and then he curls it around and hits him in the chest with like a a uh, a monk strike essentially. Uh, next up will be the strange dragonborn creature. Uh, well, he's not dragonborn, but he's part dragon, part humanoid. And he seems to just stand back and watch, and he seems to be sort of observing what's going on. Uh, it is now the Black Lotus, and uh, just out of curiosity, um, Kianoff, what's your armor class? Um, 15. Okay. So you watch as this uh, this guy just kind of curves. He, he runs in and he unleashes these three heavy blows into Kianoth. Uh, 23 against you. Okay. Uh, 12. I'm assuming that misses. Yep. And... A 19. So he hits twice. Yep. One of those he is going to make into his sneak attack. Uh, how much? Oh, there it is. Okay. He gets Stones Endurance back on a short. Six. Oh, that's a good idea. 15. 15. Sorry. 22. 22. Uh, Kianoth, you take a total of 27 points of damage. So the one that he did the sneak attack with, I'm going to use Stone's Endurance. Okay, so, so so that would be 20 points. What? I'm gonna, i got to roll a d12 to see what it subtracts. Yeah. The most you can reduce is 20. Well, oh, so I reduced it by 12. Nice! Okay, uh, so that's 8 plus 7, so you take oh, a total actually, of... That's actually 15. I forgot to add the con modifier. Oh, yeah. And that's why I figured out that the total you could reduce it by was 20. Uh, so 15 from the 20, 5 plus 7, you take a total of 13 damage from these two assaults as he uh, is striking you with his elbows and his knees. Uh, how are you looking now? Are you looking bloody? I was actually full health because I believe three of my... Uh, three of my... Okay. So plus, next, um, hit up, with, next up is Hoss. Okay, Hoss is going to cast Shield of Faith on Bruce, Aww. and then Cure Wounds on himself. Uh, you can't cast multiple leveled spells. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so... You can do Shield of Faith well, I'll do Shield of and faith. shoot. I'll do I Shield of say, Faith. You could cast Gun. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to... Use the wand of magic missiles on the caster. Yes. Can you use that against Kianoth? So it only has one charge left. Except it's passed on. No, it's not. It's still before the short rest or before the long rest. I thought you said so it does not happen. Long rest. No, this is before the long rest. Okay. Wait, this it's not long rest. It recharges on dawn. Yeah, you're waiting until nightfall to then go to sleep, and then oh, dawn has. I see. Okay. All right. Awesome. Can you pick that up and set it aside, please? Um, like, like the okay. fight with the ghost so, and Kianoth happened this morning. The, this is the, uh, the cannon, then. Do it. Boom. Crit. Miss. Okay. Your shot goes wide. Um, next up is Bruce. You have Shield of Faith. And, and Haas, you had a spell slot left over to do Shield of Faith during that day, right? We've had multiple short rests. I, I have my spell slots back. Spell slots for you don't recharge on short rests. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so I have one spell slot left. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to... I'm going to wolf up. 
and go in and ah, there you go. Excuse me. Uh, yep, that's probably where I want to be. So I will attack Diego with pack tactics. Yes. Before I do that, I say, well, no. Be like, go before I wolf up. It's like go back where you came from, Rah! and then become a wolf. Uh, 20 versus armor class. That hits. Cool. She's gonna have to make a saving throw. 7 plus 3, 10 non magical piercing plus a saving throw. Alright. As you tear into him, you can tell that he's just a man. He has no magical resistances. Uh, he rolled a total of an, a 9. To resist okay. being flung to the ground, so as you grab him in your jaws, you <laughs> throw him in the dirt. He's, <laughs> oh, damn. I'm, just, I'm assuming it's really undignified. Well, he's already had his shirt cut open by a barbarian, so it's dignity's long gone. <laughs> Alright, that's my turn. Alright, next up, Lysander. Alrighty then, I'm gonna go ahead and. I'm going to do this to indicate that I'm going... Oh, uh, is, is this an open space over here, by the way? Hold on. I was looking at a character sheet. What? Uh, not is quite. This... That's like on the on the uh, the stone ring of the the fountain. It'd be a simple acrobatics check to stand up on it. Okay. I don't know if this is necessary, exactly. I'm just trying to get a good angle. Yeah, that works fine where you are. Okay, yes, I can shoot past. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and... Eldritch Blast this guy twice. Actually, no, before I do that, uh, let me go ahead and hex him. You slap a hex on this guy, hold on. Sure, and uh, dex ability checks will be disadvantaged, but it doesn't sound like that matters. It's not going to be doing that much. Yeah, the problem is it usually doesn't. I know. Man, I wish that spell did something different. Uh, but, okay, so he is now hexed. I'm going to go ahead and attack him twice. I do not have advantage. That sucks. Here we go. One. A as a 20. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll your second attack to see if it hits. Yeah, that's a 15. 15. That unfortunately misses. So as your first blast kind of cuts part of his uh, left shoulder open, you can see that it leaves a very, uh, kind of like a, like a bullet graze, like a, a little bit of an indent. The second blast, as you fire it, he sees it coming and he ducks under it. Alright, well, let's see how much damage I do. That would be seven uh, force damage. Okay. Uh, he's, he's seen... Oh, yeah, and hex damage. And hex damage. Oh, and I, I forget. Is hex being upcast? Hold on. Uh, I don't think... Does hex upcast for a benefit? I didn't think it did. I genuinely do not remember. Hold on. Hex 5e. I should be At higher best. levels, you can concentrate it on it longer, but it does not do any more damage. That would be great, wouldn't it? All right. Still fine by me. After one you can concentrate less. on it through a rest is the cool thing. All right, so I do two necrotic damage to him as well. All right, so that's a total of nine. Uh, you watch as he seems to have uncannily dodged your blast, ah. only <laughs> taking four damage. Yep. Uncanny yes. doge. He suddenly grows fur and resists your damage. Barks very loudly. Uh, next up is Jasmine. She's going to move up to about here, and she's going to loose a firebolt at the Black Lotus, shouting something in a language you don't understand, but she certainly seems angry about it. Very the dumb. firebolt seems to go, like, it misses Kianoth, but then the Black Lotus sees it coming and dodges out of the way. It slams into the water and leaves a psh of steam. Uh, and back up to the top of the round, it is Kianoth's turn. Same thing. Slice and dice. That's what happens when you play a barbarian. Use it twice. Fourteen? Fourteen, unfortunately, misses. He easily dodges out of the way of your blow. He's on your side. Ah, 19 on the die. That'll hit. Yeah, yeah. That hits. Uh, Eleven. All right. As you c- 
cut into the Black Lotus agent, you can see you've actually started to draw some blood this time. Like you left a, a bleed mark on him. Uh, at this point, you watch as... Are we okay? Uh, Noah, so I, I can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I can, I, I, so he, uh, Noah's got a ton of background noise. Okay. Um, and I think he muted his mic. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, definitely I, I, heard the, I heard the noise change, and I saw Noah stand up, and I was wondering what was going on. Uh, so you watch as Jarlaxle and the Black Lotus agents seem to be trading blows, uh, both of them being dex-based. It seems like nobody's hitting, but mechanically they're hitting each other, just reducing hit points. It's a race to the bottom to see who gets there first. <laughs> uh, it is now the Disciple's turn, and he's going to snarl uh sort of angrily at the Black Lotus agent. He says something uh, in a language that none of you understand, but the Black Lotus agent seems upset to hear it, and the disciple is going to move over here and cast a lightning bolt, which will carve its way 5, 10, 15, 20. It will clip Kianoth, Bruce, and Hoss. I need all three of you to make Dexterity saving throws. Okay. You do that from that square? It looks like he needs to be one further down to actually have that. Over here? Yeah, that, that'll do it. Okay, then he stands there. Yep. Thanks. Slice. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's all. Yeah. Face tanking. Oh. All right, how'd you all do? 19. Uh, six. Although I have a question. Mm-hmm. Danger sense. You get uncanny sense of when things nearby are, and they should be in better advantage on deck saving throws against effects that you can see, such as traps and spells. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it again. That seems hurt. Yeah. Oh, that's a one. That's not any better. Oh. <laughs> Just... My senses are too focused on murdering the person yes. in front of me. Mm-hmm. It's been a long day. It has. All right, so... Uh, save DC of 17. Got it. Okay. So, Bruce, you will take half. Uh, hang on. I gotta... Which is gonna be a lot, because he's... Substantial. He's gonna save DC of 17. You have to be fairly high level. Uh... Actually, he's going to, uh, spend three points to heighten his spell against you, Bruce. So, uh, please roll again, Sorcerer. Oh. So I'm just going to go right ahead and do that. I'm going to use my... <laughs> I didn't... I rolled much lower. I'm going to... Uh, Did you... Oh. <laughs> I, might, I might use Inspiration. I'm trying to decide. Um, oh, I needed myself. I'm an idiot. I was wondering yeah. what was going on with you, Lysander. Uh, no, I, I, sorry, I, sh- I shouted out... Oh. Damn it, we haven't seen a sorcerer until now. And now we do. And now we have to deal with spell points and things. I've seen a sorcerer. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, failed, I failed the throw. Okay, you, you, you don't spend your inspiration because that would neutralize your second roll. Oh, I just keep the first one in that situation? As yeah, far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you know what, that makes sense because then I have advantage and disadvantage. Sure, okay, then I will spend it. Okay, so Bruce spends his inspiration to neutralize a roll. And I was looking up what the Rigelin Disciple gets to do because he's... Add, okay, add, add this to that. So, okay, it is a total of 29 against those who failed. Yep. And Bruce, against you, it is 14. Actually, sorry, 15. Okay. Uh, Kianoth, how are you looking? Hoss, it looks like you're down. Yep. I got 13 points <laughs> left. Okay. Uh, Bruce, I'm assuming you're relatively okay. Yeah, the wolf's, you know, not even bloodied yet. Well... Bloodied? I was not killed. Nope, not bloodied. So there's that. that is, that's good, yes. That's a benefit. Yes. Uh, so Haas is bowled over. He, he actually, like, kind of flops over <laughs> the uh, that chest behind him. And just, <laughs> Oh, no. Something blew your power source. <laughs> kind of sad. Oh, I forgot that I, I gave him all this shit. Wow. He, he should have used a much more powerful lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, it is now the Black Lotus's turn. And he is going to unleash. He's going to start by. 
Hold on. I gotta I gotta review something for the Black Lotus. Nope. Wrong sheet. Damn it. There we are. Okay. He is going to start with a unarmed attack against Bruce. Okay. Okay. And he rolled a nineteen plus something against you. So oh, yeah, you I take got Yep. Uh yay! Yay, yay. So you take a total of five bludgeoning damage as he kicks you in the face. Uh, you then lose your reaction as he sidesteps around and unleashes two attacks against Kianoth. Right at my nose. Uh, natural 20 and 18. Okay. So, to start with... 11, 14, 16. You take a total of 20 points of damage from the critical strike into your abdomen. Are you still standing? No. Okay. As you fall, he will step up to here and transfer that attack onto Jasmal. And uh, he's actually going to convert that attack into a grapple check. And that is a that is more than enough. Yeah, more than enough to grab hold of Jasmal. He's currently stepped. Uh, let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five. He begins dragging Jasmal back. It is now Hoss's turn. Please make a death saving throw. Yep. And then Bruce, you're up. Okay. Hoss, uh, did you want to announce what you rolled, or are you going to keep it to yourself? I, I failed. Okay. Okay. Um... I'll bite the Black Lotus agent. Go ahead and try and bite him. Uh, that might not do it. 16? 17. 16 is just enough. 17 is more than enough. Yay. I'm shaking. Okay. Pull a red. Yes, yes. I grab him and I kind of... I, I do the Hulk thing. I smack him from one side to the other. No, no. Uh, 8 plus. I grab him and shake him and try and knock him down. Uh, it's a total of um, 11 piercing damage. And the saving throw. Oh. Saving throw. Uh, he's able to succeed. Okay. Okay. So uh, you're able to bite into him. Um, oh, you said 11. He yep. is going to uncannily dodge your bite. Totally. He so takes take six. Yeah. This guy. So you, you, you give him a little nibble, uh, but he's able to keep moving. And Lysander, it is now your turn. Oh, jeez. Everything's fine, Lysander. <laughs> How, How are you? Uh, I'm here. Uh, Hoss has failed one death saving throw. Kianoth has not rolled anybody. is unconscious. Bruce is nibbling away at the Black Lotus agent. Nibble, nibble, nibble. And currently he is blocking uh, an easy shot. So you yeah. would have to move to I'm, get a I'm clean actually, shot. I'm actually going to move up here, so I'm um, next to Haas. Firing over the prone body of your Goliath friend, who's very massive. <laughs> yeah, good thing that he's not much more than a footstool lying down. But, Flat. Uh, this guy. All right, so. Yes. Yes. Your hair rises up. It's okay. Hair doesn't block on his face. So let's try those two other blasts. Yep. Uh, first one's a 24. Nice. That'll hit. And... Oh, wow, 21. <laughs> uh, both of those will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Do you have repelling these days, or no? Uh, I still do, yes. Because that breaks a gra- force movement breaks a grapple. Speaking of which, that's about to be a thing. Can you shoot him into the into the uh, portal? <laughs> oh, 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 I, I, I hold off. I fired at him already. So, uh, it's going to be 15 force damage. Plus uh, total? Yes, plus one necrotic. 
Oh, nice. each, hit, each hit takes a uh, hex. Hex affects both hits. Oh, it, oh, it does? Yep. Yeah, it does. Shoot, that is one thing I have not been using this entire campaign. That's why it uh, doesn't scale. Well, Another one! 90% 90, 90 of the time, uh, when you have hit with an attack, you haven't used hex, or when you've hit with, with only one attack is when you've had hex. It's very rarely been two hits with hex. That's true. Uh, so, and you roll double ones somehow. So yeah. 15, 16, 17 damage. And he gets pushed back 20 feet into the wall back here. Uh, actually, he gets caught by his uh, angry oh, friend right. there. Wait, so, so forced, uh, forced movement still, correct? Uh, let me roll to see if the disciple is able to catch him. The disciple, as uh, the first blast throws him into the disciple who catches him with his humanoid, humanoid hand and he pushes him away and he says something in a language you don't understand. The second blast slams him back into the disciple and <laughs> almost sends them flying into the into the uh, the cabinet, but he kind of uses his staff to poof, catch him off of that, and he's like, And he points at you specifically. I don't know what that means, but I hit him. Yeah, <laughs> you're not supposed to know what it means. Is he still holding on to Jasmal? Uh He is not holding on to Jasmal, and Jasmal is going to turn around and shout something. Get the hell out of here. Uh, he's going to shout... Or, sorry, she is going to shout... Uh, why don't why don't you go put some chains on yourself and call you a slave? Uh, what, unfortunately, what the the Black what Lotus agent seems to resist it. What was that? Okay. What square is Diego in now? Diego is in this square right here. He would have been forced here where uh, where the other agent was. Oh, okay. He holds him in place. I see. I see. So okay. he holds him in place, and then the second blast could have sent them both flying into the bookshelf, but he okay. was able to stabilize. Okay. Uh, okay. Jasmine shouts something. Oh, so, oh sorry. Uh, you've been ended my turn. I'm realizing. Ended my turn just as I was about to say what my next thing was. You just kind of oh. moved into his turn. Um, or into well, Jasmine's. You, uh, you've done everything I could have thought of. You moved, you attacked, so go ahead oh, and what are you going to do? Blink! Because that's not a concentration spell. Okay. It's a standard action, though. It is a full action. Oh, crap. Right. Thank Never you mind. for reminding me. Never mind. Sorry. Proceed. Um, Okay. Jasmal turns and shouts something in a language you, you do. Actually, no, sorry. You do fully understand it, The but uh, Diego Orlo, Orlino Pablo Yanez seems to resist it. And we are now back up to Kianoth's turn. Please make a death saving throw. No. <laughs> Too bad. Make a death saving throw. Ah, I negate your reality and replace it with my own. I was asking as a courtesy. I, yeah, he, he didn't a, really ask. Just, he said, please do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you could roll a death saving throw, that would be great. Uh, all right, next up is Jarlaxle. He is still going toe to toe with the Black Lotus agent, but the Black Lotus agent seems to be losing and retreating currently. Uh, next up is the disciple, who is going to. Uh, hold on. Well, that's the thing. I made these characters like. A few days ago, so I barely know how their shit works. <laughs> That's okay. You can play them inefficiently. We're not. We're not yeah, we won't be upset. Go right ahead. Oh, oh, oh! I'm, I'm totally. I'm sure of that. Uh, we accept you as you are. <laughs> is okay. The Black Lotus agent is going to cast a hold person spell on Jasmal and Lysander. So oh, I need them twins. both. Damn. I need them both to make. Uh, Wisdom. Wisdom saving throws, please. Hey, so I thought I might be okay now. Well, Jasmine wasn't, so... Oh. Yeah. Unpleasant. Alright. 22. That's more than enough to resist. Nice. So you watch as Jasmine kind of freezes in place as she's sort of throwing her hand out to, ins like, like pointing a finger at the Black Lotus Asian, and she just kind of... <laughs> Did she have a turn, or did she? Was she, she, just, yeah, she, she had a turn, but it, her action was resisted. Oh, well, did she? She, she, she vicious mockery the Black Lotus agent because she didn't want to move and get an attack of opportunity. But she didn't heal and ward either of the down people. That's a good point. Oh. She's busy. Well, then yeah, you can vicious so, mockery and healing word. Yeah, you can you can vicious mockery and healing word. So she will uh, healing word. Uh, Hoss. Okay. She's known you longer. Uh, you heal 
four hit points. Also, you're not in melee range, so it's, okay. Okay. it's not great to heal the person who's still in melee range. Um, so the disciple paralyzed Jasmal tried to paralyze Lysander. The Black Lotus is going to re-grapple Jasmal. Uh, is that an auto success or is it only advantage? I don't She's remember. currently it's restrained. It's probably an auto success, but I'll look up real quick. I'd say. Well, she's he, paralyzed, so he rolled a natural twenty with advantage, so it's pretty safe to assume that he succeeds. They automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws. Restrained is disadvantage, so I mean, it, you know, it's probably not a success. Anyways, they move ten. It 20. might be a disadvantage roll, but I don't know why it would be. Uh, this black lotus agent disappears through the portal, dragging the paralyzed body of Jasmine. So angry. And, Hoss, it is now your turn. Okay. Hoss uh, stands up. Oh, oh, uh, the Black Lotus agent who was fighting Jarlaxle disappears through the portal as well. Okay. You stand up. Uh, stands up, and he uh, takes a shoot at the sorcerer. Go ahead and take your shot. Nice. Uh, 23. Uh... That's enough to hit. And Bruce wasn't completely blocking the portal? No, they were able to slide in on the side. You don't actually take up a full ten yeah. feet. Yeah. Six. Fair enough. Need four minutes. And you might be able to get in the portal on the side. It may not just be like a doorway in the wall. I get it. Fifteen yeah. piercing and six thunder. Nice. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that's a total of 21, 83, 82, 62. You want to see considers activating a shield spell to try and hold it off, but the blast slams into him before he has the opportunity. Oh, <laughs> He's like... Maybe. I was wondering... Oh. He, he kind of stands up, and he glares at all of you, and he says, You've lost! Surrender or die! <laughs> you look like the one that's losing. I mean... <laughs> and it is now Bruce's turn. Okay. <coughs> uh, Kianoth is down and dying, but Haas is up. Yes. Uh, I'll try to bite the sorcerer type. Okay. Mm, that won't do it. There's no advantage. Uh, yeah, seven versus armor class does not. Eight does not hit. As you snap at him, he kind of sidesteps and smacks you with his staff, like no. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of this. <laughs> the disciple Teobaldo Eduardo will not stand for such assaults. <laughs> I'm a mongrel. Uh, Lysander, it is now your turn. Uh, and I was actually going to quip. It's not your turn. I, I don't think you can really do anything about this. Um, you go ahead and. Uh, you can yeah. feel your hex it's is enough. very, very, very far away. So that's not going to. I I'll, I'll, my hex breaks, by the way, because what? I can't I can't maintain focus on him. You can? Why not? He's not within range. To my knowledge, the hex ends if I'm not able to. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Concentration up to an hour. I don't actually have awareness of him. That's the tricky thing. You have disadvantage. Bonus action on a turn to curse a new creature. It's not scry, unfortunately. I can tell that it's still on him, apparently, because I can still focus on oh, him. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry, I was thinking of uh, Hunter's Mark, where you can track the person. Oh, Hunter's Mark would be amazing right now. But for the moment, no. I'm going to go ahead and blast this sorcerer. Okay, go ahead and shoot your blasts. And 14 for the first one. Uh, 14 will miss. He dodges out of the way. And, uh, and 15. Uh, hold on. 15 would hit... But as your blast comes in, he summons up a shield, and it slams into the shield to no effect. Oh, he already has shield on? No, he chooses to activate shield at this point. Oh, sorcerers can do that? Sorcerers have access to the shield spell, yes. Oh, I mean, he can, he can cast as a reaction? I'm a little Shield confused. is a reaction spell to an yeah. attack against them. Ah, got it. I was a little confused. Because I also don't have shield, so I'm not super familiar. <laughs> Shield is a plus five to armor class for one round, using a reaction and a leveled spell slot. All right, so that also means he's lost his reaction and a spell slot, so that's fine. Yep. Yes. I see, oh, I see that new slot has taken up 
They're spotted. <laughs> what? R- yep. Rose is in Scott's spot. Oh. <laughs> Rose's turn. Rose's turn. Oh. Uh, that's oh. that's going to be my turn. Lysander, that ends your turn. Kianoth, uh, go ahead and roll your death saving throw. Kianoth. Michael! What? Death saving throw. It's your turn. Uh, death saving throw. I'm going to be a one. Don't, don't die. I'm I really hope it's not. I'm not trying to kill any of you. Oh, it's a two. Yeah, that's okay. way Jesus. better than a one, Fuck. though. Whoa. It's two failures. I'll uh, come back. I will kill you next turn. That's a thing. Uh, that is... Okay, that was two failures. That ends Kianoth's turn. Uh, it is Jarlaxle. So, Jarlaxle's on the map. Oh. Duh. Sorry. I, I said the, the Black Lotus retreated. Actually, Jarlaxle knocked him out. That was my mistake. Oh, nice. So we have eight Black Lotus. And Jarlaxle turns and he shoots a crossbow bolt at the Disciple, but his uh, he holds off his shot because Bruce is in the way. Uh, and it is now the disciple's turn. You can see him stare at the fallen body of his black of the black lotus, and he just he all he says is "You have failed me," and he steps back into the portal. Oh, he, wait! He stepped through the bookcase. Sorry. No, he he diagonal stepped next to Bruce over here oh, okay. by the uh, by the portal, and then stepped into the portal. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Do I get an opportunity attack on him on the way out? You, can get you do. Board. Yay. Actually, I probably should have got one on the Black Lotus guy, too. Did I miss? Uh, Hoss, it is now your turn. Okay. I'm going to move up and uh, use Cure Wounds on Kina. Chunk, chunk. Ping! Uh, this one. So, while you do that, Bruce, it is uh, now your turn. <laughs> so, there are no obvious active bad guys here? Correct. And but there is a portal. No one's dying. Correct. Okay. So I turn back into human form. Okay. Doesn't really matter where you turn back into human form because you have no. plenty of movement. Yep. And I say, no, we can't let this happen again. We can't let this happen to a friend. Not again. She's got no chance on her own. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm not going to let this happen. And Bruce goes through the portal. Okay. All right. Uh, Lysander, it is your turn. Uh, open pole. Anybody want to go through the portal? And he moves towards the portal and will walk through if somebody nods. I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Was it still open after my turn? Is probably the more important question, actually. Did I mean, it after he went through, it has a timer. All <laughs> right. Oh, did he close it after he stepped through? That was also something I was wondering, because otherwise, then Bruce couldn't have stepped through. But uh, you, you can need see to roll some dice. that. What? You need to roll some dice. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bruce, could you go ahead and make a quick uh, attack roll for me? Sure, totally. Uh, not at advantage or at advantage? Uh, at advantage. Okay. Um, that's either um, 22 if I'm using of my cantrip, or if I was still in wolf form, it's a 20. Okay, we'll say you're using your cantrip because you turn back into human form when you step through. Yep. As Bruce charges through the portal, shouting something and casting something. You watch as the portal dissipates behind oh. him and closes shut. So Lysander gives the... Well, do we got a signal? Okay, walks through and there's nothing. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Does he bonk his nose? No, probably uh, not. Probably? He's five feet away from the door, so no. Okay. Well, well, I, gotta go for, I gotta go for now. Okay. Uh, it's good to see you guys this time. 
Uh, I, I might be able to Skype in on the car ride for part of it to just listen, so... Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's a bad idea techn well, technologically or even possible. Well, no, here, well, what we do is we do it now. Um, search for your Skype, your Skype name. Okay. Uh, Noah, can you, uh, can you Facebook call me real quick? Facebook call, sure, one second. Alex, you... Hoss is kind of staring at like where the portal was. He says, "We have no way of getting them back." Are you talking to us? Online? Well, you're not there. Do it again. There was an accident. I'm trying to figure out which one is mine. What happened? Uh, Paul dot. Yeah, Paul dot Mikowski is probably right. So I will add you. Got to add to what's my own Skype right now. Oh, there we go. Yep. So, are you plugged into my? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yep, I can hear you. Oh, hey. All right, there's Paul. Uh, there's Michael, and there's Noah. And all we need is Scott, and we can keep this party rolling. Well, well we got Rose, so Rose can, I don't know, pilot, pilot Haas? <laughs> Suddenly this, this becomes a mecha anime. This whole game has become far way weirder than I had ever intended it to be. I was, I was... You know, the next campaign, I'm going to limit it to four classes. There's going to be a fighter, a rogue, a wizard, and a cleric, and that's it. So what you're saying is you just want to play Final Fantasy 1. Well, the like, the Artificer class is weird. Not, not just the Artificer class. There's other classes. There's other weirdness involved here. It's not just you. I really want to play a modern-day setting game where I can have my Warlock patron be the Ghost in the Machine, because that would just be awesome. Honestly, I really want to run a sci-fi game because the the invention yeah. of prosthetics increases the amount of devastation that I can inflict in a single <laughs> battle. You lose an arm! Cool, I get a better put arm. A, put a, a robot arm in place of it. You lose an eye and you get a, a robot eye. Like I, I really want to I really want to play a, a, a cowboy bebop role playing <laughs> game at some point. Starfighter is the thing. Yeah, it is. Uh, also, traveler. Anyways, um, right. back so, to our regularly scheduled shenanigans. Yes, uh, Lysander, you attempted to charge through the portal after Bruce, but it closed behind you dramatically, and your two friends have now been, uh, how you say, cut off from you. Uh, I gotta, I gotta put a token in for Jarlax. I shouldn't. Have, God, why did I delete him? I sh dramatically, I should have just fucking moved him to another chamber. I was gonna say move them off into the darkness where we can't see things. Yeah, that's, that's what I did with everybody before this. I, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have object permanence. I just kind of assume nothing's there if I can't see it. <laughs> uh, player tokens. I threw Darlaxle in here. So okay. Um, there we go. There's Darlaxle. So, as you're all kind of stunned at the disappearance of your friends, you watch as Darlaxle moves up to where the portal was, kind of slowly, and he looks at it, and he just says, Lysander, you're able to hear this, but he, he whispers, Fuck, I made a promise. And he's just kind of staring there, and he kind of just drops his blade and... Behind you, you can hear the unconscious body of the Black Lotus agent that's relaxed, incapacitated, just kind of... Oh. Alright. Can I stand up and... No, you're not allowed. ...wander over to that groaning figure on the floor while the others are looking at the portal? <laughs> yep. As you wander over to him, you can see that he has a hand crossbow bolt stuck in his neck. That seems to have been injecting some kind of poison into his veins. I'll uh, tie him up with the rope. You successfully hog-tied so his hand is tied to both his feet and his other hand is tied to his head. Oh, I'm and it's all behind his back. 
Oh, you leave one hand out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can slap him with his own hand while you're hitting yourself? No, I'm thinking about shopping it off. I don't know if Hoss would be entirely okay with that little mindset. No. I want to see Hoss stop me. <laughs> Hoss is the one who healed you, so his you know his bullet can knock you unconscious. Angry bear. You still have no re- rages. I can't externally rage, so I'm internally raging. <laughs> well, don't forget, rage is not an angry angry thing for you. It's a it's a primal state of increased ability. Well, I'm internally raging now, and it is anger. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I, I won't cut it off. I'll just step on it with most of my weight. You know, my. Uh... Keanoth has somewhere less than ten hit points. Yeah. He's, so, he's at 10. I'm at 10. Oh, is he? I have no idea what you actually healed him for. I will step on him on his hand with my 295 pounds. <laughs> uh, you can hear some of his bones breaking. As I do, he snaps into uncon- uh, or into consciousness. I don't know what uh, Lysander and Hoss are doing, but you hear the scream of a human in pain behind you. And I cry uh, in a low tone. Where they go. Ah! Ah, you now I'll, plastic bastard! I'll let oh. open up to answer me. Also, we've heard all this before. You can come up with you can come up with new insults, but we've heard variants, so it's not that surprising really. Well, they're trying to be discreet. There's a child in the room. I've been watching a lot of house, sorry. I got it. Uh, and, and, I know Lysander is actually saying, like, we've heard it all before. Like, okay, quit your belly aching. Where are they now? He he pulls his hands into him. Uh, Sorry, hang on. Uh, Uh, Hoss, what are you doing? You seem to have moved up to the portal with intent. I'm doing uh, detect magic to 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 study what happened. Okay. Uh, Detect magic, you... Uh, hey, Paul, do you have any idea what uh, teleportation magic school is? Uh, conjuration. Okay. You definitely detect an aura of transmutation near the door. I'm, okay. I'm joking. It's conjuration. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, so he's, he's doing that. that. That takes him some time, and he's focused on that. Okay. Uh, Lysander, you moved up towards the... Uh, unconscious body. Well, he's unconscious. no longer unconscious because somebody inflicted pain upon him. Yeah. I'm uh, still stepping on the hand. I'm just not applying enough pressure to hurt him. I'm not okay. going to allow him to move his hand. So, uh, Lysander, what did you what did you say to him? Uh, he's insulting us and just screaming. And I, Lysander's immediate response was to say, "We've heard it all before. Don't even try to come up with new things. We've heard variants." Uh, and at this point, is going to go ahead and. Can I visibly charge up an Elvish Blast, or can I just cast Minor Illusion to make it look like I'm doing that? You can visibly charge it up. The idea here is you're holding action, so yeah. it's building I'm up in your hand, but it doesn't him. actually fire. Yeah, I'm intimidating him, essentially. Or, well, correction, because I'm bad at this. Hey, Kianoth, do you want to take his arms off first, or his legs? And then I'm going to assist you if you attempt to intimidate him. Uh, Kianoth is worse than you at it. Oh, wait, really? He has an 8 charisma. You guys are great. And and the long and now that he hasn't answered me, except uh-huh. for well, no, he, like right now everyone's kind of running out to him and shouting at him. You inflicted pain. You're charging up an Eldritch blast. Mm-hmm. Somebody's trying to roll intimidate, and I'm waiting to see the results of that for him How's to that answer. How's yeah. that worse intimidation than me? Okay, uh, because oh. he has an eight charisma. Yeah, that's fair. Want to assist me at least as we're trying to get info out of him. Kianoff, go ahead and roll a Charisma Intimidation check. Oh, that was going to be a... That's a four. Sorry, sorry, hold on. Uh, Are you trained in Intimidation? No. No? Okay, just make it a Strength check. A flat Strength check. Yeah, I was going to say... Whatever you roll plus what your strength is. I'm going to re... Well, that would be a nine. Okay. Uh... Lysander, go ahead and roll an intimidation check. Alright. I was hoping for the assist, but this is fine too. 13. I, I, I know what you were intending. Um, what'd you roll? 
Thirteen. Thirteen? By the way, Lysander, you do have uh, inspiration. Oh, uh, I do. I could go ahead and roll that with advantage. I'm going to do that, because I had to spend this eventually. Oh, come on. Okay, that's better. Fourteen. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, I am not feeling okay. You good? Yeah, I just uh, need to erase my inspiration tracker, so that way I know who actually has it, so I don't accidentally try and award it to somebody who already has it. Uh, okay. Uh, you rolled a 19, you said, total? A 13. Or, uh, sorry, sorry. No, yeah. oh, hold on a second. Wait. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the session, they can... Wait, wait why, is there another, oh. why is there another roll there? I just... You had advantage. You rolled twice. Sorry, yes, 14. I, I scrolled up by accident. Cause I, like, okay, they, so you rolled... A 13 and a 14. 14 is the high. Yes. Okay. I, I don't want to be rare. Yeah, last. Is everything going okay in Homer? Or Cortland? Yeah, we're good. No, okay. we're talking about you. Oh. What? <laughs> uh, so, Lysander, as you charge up this Eldritch Blast and you intimidate and Kianoff breaks at least one of his carpal bones, uh, he, he tries to pull the hand back into him and it's still trapped under the boot and he says... They went to Rigel. Jasmine has a power she doesn't understand. Oh, that's a new one. Also, hi, cat. <laughs> Yoda says hi. And he hi, Yoda. Turn, he's, he also said he's concerned that you guys are turning dark. <laughs> I mean, yes. Kiel did good. break somebody's hand. That's Prepare. definitely not a neutral alignment. That's definitely not a good alignment. <laughs> Prepare for the dark and moody Lysander. Into the blast. Oh? The rated oh, PG-13 Lysander. The dark night begins. <laughs> the dark elf begins. Yes. I need to check. What is Kianos' alignment? What is his yeah, alignment? Yeah, yeah. He's neutral. You mean, what was his alignment? <laughs> Hey, neutral. Hey, hey. neutral is allowed to is allowed to torture without consequence. And you don't believe in nice. good or evil. I'm considering my sister has been enslaved. Yes. Yeah. By I don't the like way, it, to, to be clear for all players involved here, when you choose an alignment that, uh, like, good tends not to torture, evil will torture for no reason, for it's fun. easy to slip from a strong alignment, good or neutral, lawful or chaos, into neutral. It's harder to slip out of neutral into a strong alignment. Which is what I know from experience, having, you know, there's the, there was the whole stabbing thing, and yeah, yeah a lot of shit, a lot of shit. So, uh, in any case, so I have not actually harmed him. I have only threatened him. Uh, yeah, you only threatened him. You 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 are a good person doing nothing. I'm doing something. But uh, so Rigel and which he has a what? For the microphones, I'm making mute. Uh. Paul, I have no problem with you having your microphone on. Right now, it hasn't really interrupted the game much. Uh, Lysander, he said Jasmal has a hidden power. Hi, Alex. Hey, Alex. Hi, nice to see you. Hi. <laughs> to see you. But a hidden power as in what exactly? She's, she's made no mention of this. Kianoth, are you still standing on his, on his hand? Yep. He says, if you want answers, get this beast off me. Well, that's funny, because your mouth's moving, but you're not saying the words I want to hear. If I'll you don't, I'm going to pass out from the pain. Okay. Get off. Uh, let up a little. Mm. I'll give him enough room to... I'll move my hand up to his wrist. I'm uh. keeping pressure, but not enough to hurt it. Allowing him to move his hand... But I'm not letting his hand anywhere near his throat. So you're letting Why? it be out. What about his groin? Is that a safe area? <laughs> what? Well, he doesn't need that anyway. Go ahead. No, he said wait. you're not letting it near his throat. As it, like, is, you said is there's somewhere. a bolt in his neck. There's a, wait, what? There's a bolt in his neck? You said that as part of the description of him on the floor. Yeah, that was a sleep dart. He's oh. already awake. Oh. Well, I don't know. But still, I'm not letting him. I'm gently moving my hand to his to my foot to his wrist. Okay. Okay. 
He just looks at Kianoth with disdain and he says, He's not backing off. Let off him. I lean close as I can. Talk or I break wrist. Next. He he laughs and he says, You think this is the first time my hand has been broken? I'm gonna guess it's the third, am I right? Twelve. Oh wow. You had quite a life, sir. Uh Kenoth, careful. Mm. I am trained in torture. I know how to inflict it, and I know how to resist it. Well, that's great, but you're not, you're not going to survive my sick puns, which I have not pulled out yet, because that would hurt even worse than any pain you could imagine. I kind of let off, and I make an offhand comment about um, enjoying skinning wild animals alive. He, he curls the hand into his chest, as as people often do when they've broken something in it. Yep. And so, he just kind of tries to worm his way back to the wall to try and sort of, like, get away from so, the giant Goliath. I'm reaching down and pulling him close. To, I mean, I'm not letting him out of my sight. So, There's Hoss, nowhere for him to go. You're in a small room. Hoss, Hoss says to him, Oh, hello. Hang on. Hoss says to uh, Hoss says to him, "Human, what are you called?" Uh, you can call me Evaristo. Um. All right, Risto. Evaristo. I'm gonna call you Risto. Hey, Rico. <laughs> Just gets more offensive. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, Evaristo. Um, you're in the middle of a, uh, fallen dwarven citadel, ghosts and zombies all over the place. Um, you can go with nothing, or we can lead you with a dagger. Tell us what's going on. Explain yourself. He says, you're the slave that you'd captured... Captured. The unbroken was... sorcerer king. Yes, captured. Why else would you have traveled with her? She it's was fine. free. <laughs> There's no such thing. A slave's a slave. Wow. Yes, In your problems. land, maybe. Not here. Continue. <coughs> he had a power. Our continent is dying, and she had a way to help stabilize it. The unbroken sorcerer King Damocles had wanted her for some time, and she escaped because of some pathetic old man who let her free. Okay. Unfortunately, she didn't do a very good job of protecting her identity. Oh, one, of our agents, her name all the time. one of our agents was able to track her down in Prostolvist. He let her. He let us know who she was and where she was going. Our diviners were able to follow her from there. We found you here. And the rest of you were too stupid to get out of your own way and let us do our jobs. We didn't want you to do your jobs. Just a second. Could have made a lot of money if you had. 100 gold is hardly a lot of money. How much money do you have? In, you know, in Dwarven. In Dwarven. Yeah. You guys. Leave it. Lysander, you don't Sleep, understand yeah. I, 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 At our mercy. I have no idea what they're saying, but I do ask, okay, well, could you elaborate on this power you're talking about? We offered him a weapon to escape with. <laughs> He's not going to make it too far here. He's outmatched. <laughs> I kill him. Um, <laughs> this, is, this, this is happening in Dwarven. Yeah, also, yeah, sorry, sorry, just knowing in English what he's saying is scaring the crap out of me. You're neutral? Waffle. Not if he kills an unarmed, tied-up opponent. That is say, that, 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 I'll, that, I'll let him up and give him a knife. <laughs> okay, no, 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 you were just saying you weren't going to do that. Yeah. I mean, in character, I don't know that, but... but no, sir, uh, people that execute prisoners. Uh, Hoss, uh, yes. Kianoth, you can, you can speak up. Right now, I'm putting the interrogation on hold while you converse. Okay. So the, I guess this conversation is going on. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm being too quiet. 
Uh, so Haas, Haas says, we are not as low as them. We are better than killing captives. Justice. Kill him, justice. Save other people. My sister's a slave. Where is he? Where is he going? What if they come back from? Then they'll have expended a great deal of effort for someone who doesn't appear to be worth it. He's beaten. I am. I break more bones. Not kill. As a concession, <laughs> um, you can finish off an arm, maybe. Leg. Well, you've already started on the hand. Mm. But it's. I. I I'm not a fan of torture. That's, and this, I'm not a fan of killing prisoners. And if you're going to travel with us, we don't cotton to that sort of evil. I don't know if Bear is a fan of that. That's between you and Bear. Justice. But, you know, if you would understand that killing an unarmed person is not justice. I, again, state that he wouldn't have killed him unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> would have said it. Wait a second, is that a ponder? He could remove his arms and then kill him. <laughs> anyway, shall we, con- shall we continue getting as much as we can from him, and then we turn him loose with a dagger, we take everything of use that he has, we have use for it, and point him in the rough direction of the way out, and let the elementals... I kick him in the, in the leg and tell him to keep... I kick him in the leg and... Talk. Well, as you as you finish your conversation in Dwarvish, you turn back and Lysander and him have been communicating for some time. Uh, Lysander, what was the question you asked? So can you elaborate on this vague power that our friend happens to have that would save your continent? Because that sounds like a really convenient excuse to teleport in here and take a friend from us. He says... She She's wasn't the chosen one! No. There's hundreds of her kind in our land. Then why not use one of them? Because the more that we have, the less that they have. They? He kind of cocks an eyebrow and he says, you do know Rigel is basically a giant desert with small little cities on it. Yes. And all of those cities hate each other, right? Oh, sorry. That I, Okay. That's true. But they don't have her. We have yes, her. Yes, we do. Of her own free will. Now we have her. Okay, her cool. power is our power. Cool, and you just made some pretty soon-to-be-powerful enemies. What, you? We well, beat you. And your fingers are broken. You have to Look sacrifice some soldiers in the war. Look at you and kind of that whole knowing glance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine he came out behind his back, he pulls out a little knife and goes, Eh? 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 <laughs> Yeah, we just kind of do that and call it a day. No, um, no, Lysander is, Lysander's a little pissed here. It's like, no, you just, you took her as a bargaining, sorry, in character. You took her as a bargaining chip in a war that she actually wasn't participating in, basically? Not a bargaining chip, a power source. Great, you already have some, you've already established this. What does one more do for you? More power. And invading foreign lands specifically to do that? You've just gone to... Where are we? Okay, well, not this specific spot. You you get what I'm saying. You've come to a continent that doesn't... We we captured an escaped slave. Uh Huh? And in these lands, she's a free person. Not a slave. Make a uh, history check. The one thing I'm not good at, and by that I mean one of the few things, one of the many things I'm not good at... I'd love to hear this in the background, by the way, the oak kill. Elementals aren't people. They live alone in the woods. Uh, well, there we go. That's a six. He attacked us. Okay. Uh, so, to your belief, yeah, there there is no slavery in this land. I mean, in terms of beliefs, yeah, I don't think that that's going to be fair at all. 
I'm just saying you're not in your land, so you don't actually know whether or not slavery is a thing. I, I gather it up, but, but my point is, you're not going to like you're not going to like the results of this. But now we may choose to do that. I'm sorry, I'll wait for them. I'm yeah. Yeah, there's multiple conversations going on. <laughs> yeah, I I can kind of hear your whispered. I want to kill it, no, don't kill him conversation. <laughs> and I'm also trying to handle an interrogation over here that you guys are privy to, so you guys can hear it. All right, Lysander? How about this? I'm willing to let you go under a very strict condition. What? You get to deliver a message to whoever you believe owns Jasmine. Very well. What's the message? The Shield of Orlane will not forget this. Oh, and also all of your goods you have on hand, of course. That'd be great to just have. You were going to pay us, right? He's, he says, the only things I have are the clothes on my back and the weapons on my belt. There's nothing of value for you. No spell books? I'm not a wizard. Oh, sorcerer. Or, sorry, he doesn't say wizard. He says, I'm not a disciple. Oh. Oh, sorry, I picked the wrong guy to yell at. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, this, this is a Black Lotus agent similar to the guy that you befriended back in uh, sorry, Boxley yes. Eyes. Oh, actually, oh, sorry, in which case. Uh, then... I'll ask for your insignia. My my pin? Yes. They'll what? kill me if I don't have my pin. Good. Give it to us. You'll find a way to figure it out. You can see his, uh, his mind kind of racing. Make a persuasion check. Okay, and we're on the road, and I have, I have um, coverage for now, but it probably will end at some point. Okay. So uh, 19. 19? He looks at you and he says, why do you want it? It's either this or you're here. I'd like a trophy. I'd like a trophy from the enemies we defeat. I'm trying to sound he, strong here, mind you. He takes the pin. You don't sound particularly strong, but he hands over the pin to you and he says, you know you've signed somebody's death warrant, right? Oh, then again, you can always choose to turn your life around. Live in the countryside here. I've heard that Alagon is nice this time of year. Alagon's on another continent. Yes, I'm going to go down. Ben. Okay, well, yeah, sorry, yes. Uh, you could, like, so that seems like something Lysander would legitimately have forgotten. Yes. <laughs> and it would be a, a fun bit of, like, wait a minute. You know, like, he gets outside, he gets outside and is like, this isn't. Even the right continent. Sorry, this this is also me being tired. Um, Lysander is probably also tired. Yes, you will uh, find the, you'll you'll find a way to get your way back into where you came from. The Black Lotus says, "Oh, I'm not worried about me. I will just take a pin from somebody else, and they'll die." No. All right. Well, if that's what you want to do, I'm not stopping you. I just want yours. You're the one who demanded a pin. I just yeah. want to make sure you understand that you're signing somebody else's death yeah. warrant. Hopefully it was one of your partners who stepped back through the portal. Uh, Lysander, you're neutral, right? No, I'm not. Okay. I am chaotic good. Well, you've just made my list. Oh, boy. Uh, did either of you want to ask him any questions over in the Cortland branch? Um, let's see. So, oh yeah, so, so, um, to, to finish what Hoss was saying in this, the Dwarven conversation that's going on, um, just know that your behavior will be remembered. And not just by us. You are a follower of Bear. Is this the kind of behavior that Bear tolerates? 
retribution. I, I'm not familiar with Bear, so I don't know if that's Bear's way. He will kill someone. So will we. Many someones. <laughs> um, so, Haas turns back to him and said, do you have a way of getting back? He kind of looks around and he says, where are we? What, what's the name of the mountain range again? I've got it here. Uh, the Ash Mountains. Uh, you're in the Ash Mountains. He kind of shakes his head and he says, I, I don't know where that is. Well, I mean, you're, you're resourceful. He, uh, uh, so I turn back. I hear you, Rose, just a second. Hoss turns back to you and says, he has no way. Unless they come and get, unless they come and get him. I'd say leave him with, you know, a dagger and throw, throw him to the wolves and I've got to go to the wolves. <laughs> What do you do, Kino? <laughs> All eyes on you. I grab my bear claw, the dire bear claw, from around my neck. I pull it off. I kneel down and put my hand on his throat. Turn his head, and I will put an X using the thing into his cheek. And tell him, Mark of Banishment, you'll remember us now. Okay. You turn his head, carve an X into his cheek, and you say, you say what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. And he just is glaring at you the whole time, and he doesn't say anything. So I knelt down, grabbed him by the throat, and told him, Mark of Mark banishment. banishment. So I cut an X into it below his um, left eye or right eye, and said, "You'll remember us." It's a mark from my tribe of you've been banished from the clan. And he, according to my clan, he's an outcast now. The hoss is kind of nods. At this point, Jarlaxle, who's just kind of been observing, waiting to see whether or not you were going to kill this guy, steps up and he says, uh, So, are we just going to leave him here? There's perfectly pleasant mountain range back there for him to head off into. Mm -hmm. Find some uh, find some civilization. We probably so do we want to just leave and he slaps his translator and he says in Elvish, find somewhere else to actually take our uh, take our night's watch? We probably have to. He slaps the translator and turns it back on again. Oh, then maybe we should get moving. Alright. Uh, so, we uh, need to search him thoroughly and get anything useful that we can. Like magic, like if he has any magic weapons, you know. Uh, what, As what's you your... say that, he kind of glares at all of you and he says, that wasn't part of the deal, you were just going to leave me. No, he actually said. He, uh, <laughs> uh, like, um, you, you denied that you had anything. Now you're saying you have something, you don't want to give it up? I, I have my possessions. And? They're mine. Or oh. Cool, just like the slave you say was not... Uh, bad words. Just like the slave that you said somebody else owns. Well, in this part of the world, uh, I don't think those are yours anymore. He just I'm glares at you. I'm, I'm, try he... I'm trying to have a badass quote here. I'm failing at this. He's just glaring at you as blood is leaking from the X on his face and the pin that you've stolen from his robes. I'll start taking... I'll start searching him. All right, make an investigations check. Yeah, car alarm. I was wondering. Okay. Um, I'll... While, while you're searching him, I'll... Keep, I, I will do the actual, like, searching while you're, like... <laughs> I'm looking for big things. Twelve. 
Twelve. Uh, you find a hook attached to a long chain that appears to be some kind of weapon. It's not a chain long enough to use as like a grappling hook or anything. It just seems to be a weapon of some kind. Okay. Kunai with chain. Um, or, uh, sure. Sorry. Or Kisori Gama, I guess, if we're going to be really specific. It's more like Assassin's Creed 3 hook shot. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and i got to make sure I'm saying that right. Because I think I might have actually just said it in this video. I was doing a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. So, yeah. I fell out of Yu-Gi-Oh after like the first season or something. Oh, yeah. was, uh, whenever, whenever Pegasus with the Millennium Eye lost, that's around the time I stopped watching. Oh. The first time. I don't know how many times he's reappeared. Oh, yeah. after uh, this is what I was thinking about, Kasori Gama. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. There's less of a handle and more of like just the hook, but yeah. yeah. So, the other picture that's right down here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, huh. So, you find this, this knife on a chain and a short sword with some sort of shiny substance. That's about it. That sounds pretty nice. Uh, I believe Haas said he was also investigating? Yes. Did he roll? I don't think so. Okay. Lysander, what did you want to be doing? As as I'm... these two burly dudes kind of start manhandling the the unconscious prisoner, Darlaxle kind of saddles up to you and he seems to have something quippy to say. Yeah. Uh, he says, kind of looks like vultures, doesn't it, in Elvish? In Elvish back, uh, I mean, this is kind of what happens to people who charge into parties and take things that are not theirs. He he gives a side look to you and he's like, not always. Also, we ransom them back. Also, I thought that the pin would do much better. Ralph says, yeah, that was a good touch. Certainly don't care about it. I know enough about this organization to know that that can be useful later. By the way, Lysander, you can write down Black Lotus pin on your... Already character. did. Cool. I'm keeping that. So did you want to do anything swear. else? How about some murder? Please go. You know, if you had your chance. Every single time. succumb to party pressure. I succumb to pressure from Haas. Uh. I'm going to stab him. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm going to stab him. Oh, no, I'm not. Actually, I'll break his neck. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> There's more make, different... I was thinking more skinning him alive. Make up your mind, Mr. Lawful Neutral. Come on. <laughs> it's interesting that you're lawful, of all things. That bothers me. <laughs> no, because... It, it, it's out of justice. justice. He, his sister has been taken by slaves, so... That's how I interpret it. That's, yeah, that's but not the definition of justice. pain on the other side in a similar way to the way they inflict pain on their people is not good. Hammurabi's eye for an eye. Yeah, oh, there's a reason we the... don't actually use that legal system anymore. <laughs> <laughs> is Gerald Axel now the moral center of the party? <laughs> He's becoming actually, it. Actually, Lysander and Haas are kind of pulling at the moral center. Gerald Axel just stepped back and watched. <laughs> Uh, Hoss, you were also investigating, you said? Yeah, it was, uh, 22. Hoss, I fucking know you were going to say that number. <laughs> uh, uh, you watch as, uh, as Kianoth pulls a chain, like, 10-ish feet of chain attached to a sharp blade. You would presume this is something that they could use to hook somebody with and pull them into them. Mm -hmm. uh, according to Lysander, who described a Black Lotus agent doing exactly that against dwarven thugs, uh, it just, he didn't seem to actually use it. He seemed to have been going more for a knockout and less of a, less of a kill kind of mindset. Uh, he also found a short sword with some sort of shiny substance on it. As you look him over, you can see that there is a sheath on his belt that seems to not be magical, but it seems to be more than just a regular sheath. Okay. Master War? No. Um, okay. Sheath with nothing in it? The It seems to have been designed for a short sword that is currently in Kianoth's hands. 
Okay. Um, I am going to examine the sheath. All right. Make a um, make a nature check. Actually, make an acrobatics check. Oh. Acrobatics. Okay. What? You do a somersault. Se- also, se- go- Seventeen. Seventeen. As you sort of lean down to look at the sheath, you watch as the Black Lotus agent tries to headbutt you, and you dodge out of the way. Go ahead and make your nature check. I mean, I don't blame him. No, it's a uh, four. A four? Yeah. Since you're such like a a a, a worker, like a, a hand worker, you can tell that there's something about this sheath that is. Like, there's something more to this sheath than, than just holding a blade. Okay. So, Haas is going to, like, uh, it kind of turns it over in his hands, and then hands to the Lysander is like, what do you make of this? Lysander, make a nature check. Stop bouncing on your bed. <laughs> I was closing my sheath. Or, closing the blinds. Thanks. You got the wrong words in fucking head. Okay, so... So now we know what Lysander likes to do between the sheets. Close my shades, yes. Yes. Between so, the jewels? Is that a euphemism? Give me a second. Oh my god. So was that a nature check, or can I pull something uh, else? Nature check, yeah. Alright, so... Nature check to start with. Oh my cat. That's a three. <laughs> You have about as much of an idea as Haas does about this sheath. Seems cool, Can though. I make an H roll? I want to make an H roll. Oh. Um, well, we, keep, we keep passing it back and forth in front of you, so... Go right, right. ahead and make a nature check, key and off. Negative one. Oh, well, like, Eleven. I'm gonna take Eleven total? Total. Total? You have no oh. idea. <laughs> sheaths? Who uses sheaths? You just stick it in your belt. You don't bother with sheaths. <laughs> But I'll hand the knight. I'll hand the sword to Haas. Okay, oh you hand the sword over to Haas. I know what the sheep does. Oh, or what do it you call? I guess. I have an educated guess, but I'm not there, so I'm not going to make it. I'll give you a look of magic. Go, go ahead and uh, and message me what you think it is, because I'm curious what your thoughts are. Go ahead and guess. If, if you ask no, go ahead and uh, message uh, me. I'm guessing it's just. Okay, yeah, oh, I mean, it. okay, both weapons, too. So, so you can give me that. Uh, basically, I turned the hoss and, hoss and kind of hold up the, the weapon and the other weapon and say magic. Is Does Hoss do anything in response to that? Uh, he tells me that he will identify or detect magic. Okay. So we have to wait for Hoss to... It's going to take Hoss ten minutes to cast those, so is there anything else you wanted to do first? Well, I'm going to put the sword in the sheet. Okay. That was a, a thumbs up in response to a correct answer, Paul. Oh, wow. Cool. Excellent. Um, all right. So Haas begins trying to cast Tech Magic on the blade and the weapon. Uh, are either of you trying to do anything else? No. I'm keeping watch on the guy. He's just sitting there, impotently angry. <laughs> Maybe you can be upset at us all you want, but you're the one who's tied up at the moment. So. Uh, after about ten minutes, Haas is able to tell you that those those weapons have no magic. All right. Interesting. I look at Lysander, stuff, dirty monster in a box. What? Stuff, dirty monster in box. We were gonna let him go. Yeah, he's dirty. I, 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 I almost don't want to know what that will do to him. <laughs> trying to make a, he's trying to make a joke. Oh, uh, no, I, I gathered I'm taking this very literally because I have this big guy saying, I'm going to stuff him in the box because he's going to be clean. It's like, <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, great, thanks, buddy. I, uh, how about we just give him the knife and let him go? I'm curious as to what that would do to him. Out of I, character, what would it do to him? What is considered clean when it comes to living beings? I wonder. 
Are we talking about... Well, have you ever tried percent? stuffing a cat into a washing machine? <laughs> Thankfully, no, I'm not a sociopath. Yeah, or me psychopath either. or what have you. Sorry, psychopath would be more accurate, but no, I am not. Then you have no idea. I mean, I can imagine it, it's horrifying, but... Unless the cat's really good at just, like, sticking to one side and just kind of... Just kind of constantly clawing into place. So are no. you going to give him the uh, the two weapons back? I think you said you put the short sword in the sheath. Yeah, or give, he gets a dagger. Are you keeping the short sword and putting a dagger in it, or are you just giving him back his short sword? He's getting a dagger. So you keep the short sword? Yes, in the sheath, yes. You're keeping the sheath? Keep it the cool stuff, yeah. Well, we put the short sword in the sheath, and we're keeping it as a whole. Nobody said they were taking the sheath off the bell. Everyone was just kind of looking at it. No, Hoss. We were, we were passing it around. We passing it around. Yeah. No, I didn't hear anybody say they were taking it off, so I just assumed they were calling people over and looking at it. No, we took this it off. Poor, this poor man has been humiliated too much at this point. We've taken his pants, we've taken his sword, we've taken his sheath, and now I don't even Who know Who said anymore. they were taking his pants? Okay, we have to take this belt off, don't we? <laughs> We took the belt. Yeah, he's a suicide watch. You gotta make sure you get those belt and those shoelaces. <laughs> All right. So to be clear, you've taken the pin. You've taken. You you are in fact. I'm gonna wait for Haas to confirm this, but you are in fact taking both of his weapons and the sheath on his belt. I'm thinking about taking every other tooth too, but I'm still debating that yet. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Or am I? You're not kidding. Uh, Michael, did Haas tell you when he was going to be back? Uh, momentarily. Okay. So, is there anything else you wanted to do to this unconscious, or not unconscious, but tied up and badly wounded uh, Black I Lotus agent? I don't think so. Like I think Lysander? I'm good. I'm waiting around. Okay. Honestly, uh, all Lysander is doing at this point until uh, Scott returns and Haas reactivates is uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep watch on the guy. He has doesn't seem to have any intentions of doing anything beyond just sitting there. Yep. I want to look at Jaraxxal while after we've done all this stuff and kind of gauge the elf's response oh. or his thoughts, maybe. Uh, make an insight check. Oh, I can actually do that. Ooh, that's a 19. You get the sense that most of Darlaxle's thoughts seem to have literally nothing to do with the Black Lotus agent. He, Whatever he's thinking about, it seems to be weighing very heavily on his mind. Okay. Like he's he's watching you all just kind of like tear into this into this guy's possessions, but he's he doesn't actually seem to be registering anything you're doing. He's lost in his own thoughts. I'll walk over to him and pat him on the shoulder, and we'll see them again. He kind of as you pat him on the shoulder, he kind of snaps his gaze up at you, and he says, "You don't know that." Well, I sure hope you do. It's, and, he, and he touches the bear emblem, or the bear claw that's giving him blood. <laughs> he, he rolls his eyes and he says, where was bear when they were taken? Uh, I was unworthy. Clearly. Awesome. I'll be right back. Well, now we're just waiting on everybody else to show the fuck up. Ah... Uh... <laughs> Meanwhile, in in Rigel. <laughs> oh, if only I, you. If you want to know, Paul gets the shit, or Bruce gets the shit kicked out of him and thrown yeah. in chains. <laughs> that's what happens. To, that's what happens to Bruce. I want to know what Paul's playing next. <laughs> Who says Paul's playing anything? Maybe he's just dropping out of the campaign. I'm the, I new, DM. I'm the new DM now. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, good. I can study then. <laughs> now it's Dragon oh, Heist. Yeah. We're, now we're all going to Dragon Heist with Jarl Axel. You should, um... You should ask Paul about what happened to the vampire game. Hmm. There was a lot of grenades used. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, it's true. Stephen, or Stephen kind of told me most of it. Uh, oh, by the way, Paul, you know that uh, the new character starts at base XP, right? Uh, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, okay. That was one thing that I kept meaning to message off to you. Yep. Yep. Tell nope, me you're coming back as a cleric. Not even a little bit. <laughs> you've lost. You've lost seventy-five percent of the healing in this party. Oh, I never thought about that. Huh? That's interesting. Also, Bruce was the source of food and drink, and Jasmine was the source of light, so... I was thinking about the food and drink thing. That is true. It'll be, uh... It'll suddenly become a, a much more survival-based game because nobody has food, drink, or light. Much more yeah, under... Survival, though. Much more underdarky. Yeah. Fits with the mm. theme. Yep. Uh, by the way, Paul, I... Oh. At some point, I would like to discuss some more about your character. Not tonight, because I'm busy. But at yeah. some point, within the next like month or so. Oh, totally. Yeah, and I, uh, I, I probably... I'm guessing... I don't know if y'all are going to end up running, but I'm guessing I probably have half an hour of service left. Maybe maybe more. Who knows? I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping surprised by how good streaming internet is in weird places in New York, but... Yeah. Well... Internet streaming internet is pretty good. I'm still waiting on Haas to show up, and we're probably going to run for maybe another half hour, just enough to resolve the long rest and then keep going, like mm -hmm. enough to get to a good stopping point. Because right now we're still kind of in limbo. Yeah, sure. It's a pretty big monkey wrench. Paul, are you on the highway? Are you on the throughway? No, we're still going down to Ithaca right now. We're on Route 13. I had to go uh, home. We 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 had to pick up pack up a couple things, so we didn't leave Portland that long ago. We'll go on I mean, 17, though, because we're going down and around through Cleveland and Erie, so oh, we, won't ever, okay. we won't ever go on the throughway this way. Uh, while we're kind of in stasis, I don't know who the SR is. Who is but, the SR? Uh, I don't know. What's SR? Uh, somebody else is in the... Somebody else is in the Skype chat named SR. <laughs> and Scott. Seen... And, well, Scott's last name is Sharpstein. So yeah, yeah. There's anyways. Not, I don't know. Uh, anyways, were there any questions <laughs> or comments about what had happened so far, or critiques? Oh, it's Skype call recorder. Oh, okay. <laughs> the recorder counts as a separate person. Okay, who knew? Not me. I'll take your silence as no comment, which is both good and bad news. <laughs> I, I don't have anything to transition. It's I would say transitioning characters is not easy, and yeah. again, I usually gooify mine, but I did not at somebody else's request gooify Scarbos. So, uh, yes. <laughs> but he did get he did get pulled through a portal. That's the new version of that gooify. The, so, the characters literally really turn to goo. Well, the character just spontaneously combusts into goo and then goes, Yes. Someone else steps oh, off, yeah. steps in from off screen and goes, Oh, well, that was my brother. I am so and so. <laughs> oh, no. The person that I, I was knew trying to. Kicked out of with Jasmal, with Jasmal, I was trying to make a sensible exit because Jasmal, in and of herself, had no reason to leave the party. But Theo left the party, and so I needed the character to disappear for a little bit. And so I included the uh, the Rigelans coming back and capturing her. That's totally yeah. fair. I wonder, my thought was, well, if they were tracking her and divining her position at every moment, why didn't they just grab her sometime sooner? But I, I know it's more of a, yeah. They weren't, they weren't tracking her moment at every turn. It took a while for Octavio Octavio's message to get back to them so they could find her. I gather... Another thought well, is, you know. wait, wait a second. So they have long-range teleports available to go to another continent entirely. Holy yeah, God. teleport doesn't have to go circle to circle. 
it can go anywhere. There's just risk involved. Yeah, I was hoping we could kick him off course, but I guess that didn't happen. If you oh, did okay. gauge, detect magic, or identify neither of the magic items. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're just like so. There's something special about them. Yeah, Hoss. None of the items seem to be magical. Uh, Kianoth seemed intent on taking the short sword, the sheath, and the uh, the hook blade. Okay. So I want okay. to make sure we left him with something. I was planning on giving him a dagger. If do you have a it. dagger? I do. Okay. Go ahead and oh, mark me. off one of the daggers. I would have given you both. Items. Oh, to to look over. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so okay. Haas does the thing and says, "Well, they're not magical, but there's something funny about them. We'll we'll we'll, we'll look at them later." Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I know I have multiple daggers, but where? Okay, I'm not seeing one on my sheet. Can someone give him a dagger? I have a dagger. I think. Yeah. Does I have? Plus- a, a spare dagger. Why do I have this? Oh, I have five daggers. Why do I have so many daggers? I don't use them. Sure. They're, they're, they're handy. Give them a no, spare dagger. No, no, they're stabby. I'll say yes, take one. Okay. So you, you hand him a dagger, and the four of you with Jarlaxle, uh leave the room, close the door behind you. Uh, Jarlaxle takes his spikes back out of the door. Uh, closes uh, the door. Uh, uh, well, we... we <laughs> Oh, okay, so we should. <laughs> and, should what? Uh, untie him. I'm going to get my rope oh. back. Okay. And, you untie and him. As we close the door, grabs, uh, as, we're, as we're closing the door, Hoss says, good luck. He grabs the dagger and he kind of snarls at the four of you. You should go that way. Majors. Uh, you, you probably meant to say he should go that way over your left shoulder. Sure. Because that's the way actually out of the out yeah, that's, of the that's, citadel that's the away Hoss, from you. That's the way Haas would have pointed. Yeah. Just saying you pointed with the wrong shoulder. Okay. Uh, and where are you guys going to go now? Um, You're Hoss currently turns, standing in a hallway. There's a left and a right. Well, Haas, Haas turns to Lysander and Jarlaxle and is like, okay, where's the next likely place to hold up for a few hours? Well... Probably, what was it, to our left, I believe it was? It would be to your left. There was the bed chamber the... with all the echoes, and then there was the storage chamber with the secret door to the dwarven corpses. I was going to recommend the secret door, because that seems pretty out of the way. Okay. okay. The corpses are depressing, but otherwise, I mean... You move to your left. You head over towards... You see there's a door on the left. Jarlaxle points at it and says... Don't worry, there's nothing in there of any value. You round the corner, there's a door to your right. Garlaxel points down to the end of the hall, and he says at the end of the hall there's a pair of double doors on the other side of which is the Sword Wraith Commander. And he opens up the door to the right. Inside you can see it's a storage chamber full of a bunch of rotted supplies. He kind of moves a barrel out of the way, and he whispers something. uh, And a section of the wall opens, uh, revealing a secret door. He pushes the secret door open, and he says, this way. This is a place we haven't been before, I assume? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. Uh, All right. Follow your left. Okay. Mm -hmm. You go down a 20-foot-long hallway that then curves to the left, and is then another 20-foot-long hallway. And inside you can see a uh, a natural-formed cavern, inside of which has a bed, a... Uh, a thing that you put clothes in. A war? No, the other Dre- kind with a seat. A seat. dresser? Yeah, a dresser, thank you. Okay. An uh, armory? A, a bed, a dresser, and a desk. And on the bed, you can see that there are two fairly well preserved dwarven corpses, as well as very, very small air holes. And Charlaxel asks if we should seal the secret door or leave it open. Uh, I would consider sealing it, at yeah. least in a way where we can easily open it again, but it's not obvious that it's there. Jarl Axel says, I'm, I figured out how to open it this way, I'm not I'm not sure how it opens up from the inside. Ah. Considering that they died in here, I don't want to seal us in. Okay, that's 
that's fair. We can uh, pin the door. When we say air holes, do you mean this place has ventilation? Yes. It has very, very small air holes that go to the outside. Okay. So, yes, it has a ventilation system. Up through the ceiling, he had said. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, this seems this seems like a good enough spot. Yep. Uh, just to keep an eye out and an ear. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, so you're gonna undergo your long rest. Mm-hmm. Who's taking which watch? Um, I'll take, take which watch. I'll take second. I'll take the last. Uh, there's four watches. Oh, and Lysander, you're the only... Lysander, you're the one who can trance, as is Jarlaxle. Do you want to trust one of the watches to Jarlaxle, or do you want to take two watches, Lysander? Will that be a negative thing to do, or can I just do that? You can do it. It means you're rolling twice. Not true. Um, how about I give the watch... I'll give the last watch to Jarlaxle, but I'm actually going to... Watch with him during that time. Because okay. your trance will be done anyway. Yep. Trance will be done either way. It's more that I want to keep my eyes on him. All right. Um, first watch, I believe you said, was Hoss. Yes. Go ahead and roll D12 and perception check. Oh, okay. I need to address that. All right. So, uh, 14 for the perception check and 11 for the D12. Okay. Uh, during your first watch, as Kianoth, you throw down your bedroll, uh, Jarlaxel and Lystander kind of sit across from each other and start trancing. Uh, Hoss, you sit there with your cannon and... Within the first, like, 30 minutes, all of the lights go out. All of the lights maintained by Jasmine's light spell. Right. Uh, do you light a torch, or do you just rely on hearing at that point? Is there a, um, is there a fireplace sure. in this, in this uh, room? There is not a fireplace. They didn't seem to have set a fire or anything like that. Okay. Any sconces or anything with uh, existing torches? Do you have a, lan- do you have a uh, lantern? I do. There are no sconces. The dwarves did not seem particularly concerned about light. Okay. Um, uh, so- and by the way, if I didn't make it clear, the two dwarven corpses on the bed are holding each other in a lover's embrace. Okay. That, I'm, I'm happy. Morpheo and dwarf Liat. That's nice. Um, so, let's see. How many torches do I have? Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to light a torch. Okay, you light a torch? So, let's see. Well, you actually, we're closed in the room. I guess, so what Haas is going to do is he has a torch and tinderbox ready, but he's just going to listen and for anything. Okay, all right. So, as you're sitting there on your watch, Thunder Cannon in hand, um, could you make just a... Actually, what's your passive stealth score? Passive stealth? Yep. It is 13. Okay. These are not particularly intelligent creatures, so I think you'll be okay. The most, basically, I'm more or less motionless, not breathing. Yep. And all right, hang on. We'll turn my camera back on. Yep. There we go. All right, uh, Hoss, what was your perception roll? Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. As you are taking your watch, you have the the torch and tinder and set in front of you. You can hear the sounds of some sort of like jackal creatures yipping and barking at each other from outside of your uh, your hideaway. It seems like the sound is kind of echoing it and making it come from everywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to... I'm going to hold off on lighting the torch, just because I know that, like, maybe light can get out because the way the door is. Um, if it sounds like they're coming to the door, um, that's when I'm going to light everything and shout an alarm. Okay, make another perception check. Uh, 21. As you listen, fingers kind of curling over your cannon trigger, looking down at the torch, wondering whether or not you should light it, you can hear the sounds of these creatures, whatever they are, uh, start to get quiet, as in they're moving away from wherever you've been hiding. Okay. All right. Well, like, Haas doesn't breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> But he, he gets less tense. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that concludes your watch. So you're going to go wake somebody up and take second watch? Yes, it was you, right? Yep. So I wake up um, yeah. working on Kienoff. Uh Haas wakes up Kienoff and says, a group of um, kobolds, maybe, passed by, um, which is weird, but they did. Uh, and... They didn't find us, so I didn't, I didn't raise an alarm. No light. No. Oh yeah. Uh, I I haven't. Li- all our lights went out. Because. Um, oh, look at my sword. <laughs> yeah, because. <laughs> uh, uh, Jasmine's. Uh, we. Do you have a torch? Okay. So and it's in your box. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I've just been. You feel free to, to light up if you like. I've, I've just been listening. But do whatever works for you. Um, I'm gonna. I'll be right over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll. I'll light a torch. Okay. The chamber fills with the soft glow of a torch. You ready? Go ahead and roll. I got a. Eight perception and a two on the small cider. Okay. Uh, the the two hours that you're on watch, looking at your flame, after about an hour the flame goes out, the torch is now expended. Uh, do you light a second torch, or do you just sit in darkness? I sit in the darkness. You sit in the darkness. After about an hour, the only things that have disturbed you are the dull sounds of wind curling through very, very narrow cavities. And your watch is concluded without any major disturbances. Uh, At this point, Lysander and Jarlaxle have completed their long rest. You have all your shit back. Good. Finally. You know, if you're going to go wake up Lysander, you said? Yeah, I'll go over and nudge him. Half it. Yeah, only half your hit dice, though, of course. Yeah. Well, they fit. I only spent half my hit dice rounded up. Uh, well, unfortunately, it rounds down. It so you only gain back two. Oh. Yeah. All right. It's half your hit dice rounded down, because that's the general rule, minimum of one. So oh, yeah. at first level, you gain back one. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so wake me up. Here we go. Thanks. Anything happen? Well, evidently we're not dead, but... This is dark. Cobalt earlier. Uh, I hope they're gone. <laughs> Quiet. You're a man of few words, Kinoff. Uh, Falsehood. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take my wash. Go ahead and roll. Right. This thing. Curl up with my nice clean sheets <laughs> that I brought with me. Oh yeah, does, oh yeah, did the box go, or did the uh, chest go ding when it was done? <laughs> yes. Good. Uh, I would have loved to have had it gone up in the middle of the kobolds showing up or whatever. Oh, Un- unfortunately, the boxes were done cleaning before the Rigelin showed up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Perception first, and I'm going to roll my d12. And I'm going to d12. Here he is. Is something going on? Pings? Like the sky, the, the die roller. Oh, that, that's oh, the die okay. roller. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's, uh, How'd you do? You yeah, know we're only seeing like half of your face, Mike. Yeah. Like two thirds of your face. 
Oh, it might be... Uh, oh, it's super officer. zoomed in on me. Uh, if, if you double-click, it usually will reset, or there's a, a thing in the center that you can click to change its zoom. I think it's just the heat that you're not centered in the picture, that's all. Yeah. I was I was leaning off to the side because that's where the microphone is, and I wanted to be close to the microphone without uh, the microphone sitting in the center like this. All right, it looked like I was a 12 on the D12, but what yeah. about your yeah, perception roll? 23 on perception. Okay. Uh, your watch passes relatively uneventfully, although uh, Hoss, or not Hoss, Jarlaxle kind of moves up and sits beside you and listens as well. Uh, you... You are able to hear the sounds of some kind of battle taking place somewhere else within the uh, Dwarven Citadel. It's far off. It's very far. Okay. I was hoping that somebody took on that uh, the zombie ghost ahead of time. It'd be great to weaken him a bit so we could actually get some hits in. Uh, all right. Uh, Jarlaxle, your turn. And as I yep. give him his space, I'm also actually just kind of watching him the entire time. Should I be rolling? Go ahead and make a perception roll. Oh, well, I don't, I don't see shit. Yeah, no. That's pretty <laughs> bad. Uh, nothing disturbs you in your four hours, but Jarlaxle is just kind of sitting there, sharpening his scimitar, checking his bolts, uh, pulls out a, a small wooden barrel about this big, full of something, and he starts drinking pretty heavily. Long day? He looks over at you as he's sort of finishing his, his drink. And he says, Well, it's not every day that I break a promise, so... A promise? I made a promise to the the fun one. You know, the one who could transform into animals. What'd you promise him? I promised that if the chips were down, I'd save them. Well, I mean, I tried to, and... It wasn't like neither of us could really do anything when he made his choice. Yeah, but I'm a man of my word. Yeah, but don't kick yourself for not being able to do something you were physically incapable of doing. That's not a failing on your part. Out of character, I'm pretty sure Lysander was just completely rolled over the fact that Arlaxel insulted you. Oh, I actually did not notice that. Must be the low perception. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Uh, Seriously, I didn't get the insult. Uh, he said, I'm a man of my word, implying that you weren't. Well, that uh, sounded like a statement to me. But I, I get, It was I, a statement, it wasn't a question. Uh, <laughs> it's saying that I'm not? Uh, since Lysander seemed to have missed it, what was the last thing Lysander said? I, I was saying, Lysander missed it, not out of character, I'm asking, wait a minute, what did... What what did he break? What kind of uh, promise? What, also, what also, promise sorry. did Axel break? Uh, did Lysander break? Also, Paul, sorry, your mic's picking up a lot of ambient noise. It's really distracting. Okay, I'll mute it. Thank you. Appreciate it. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't focus for a moment. Um, no, I, I was asking, wait, what promise did Lysander break? Because that sounds like he's implying that. Uh, it's lights are. Jarlaxle doesn't know anything. Sounds like he's just making insults because he's upset. Uh, well, Lysander didn't actually pick up on the insult, so Lysander wouldn't question him about it. Gotcha. But no, so Lysander was just saying, well, I mean, if you're physically incapable of doing something, then it's understandable if you couldn't fulfill that promise. And the chips were down and you tried. You were able to capture someone, get a bit of information, and maybe we could find them after this. Jarlaxle just takes another shot and says, yeah, lucky us. You're having a bad night. I got it. Oh, shit. Mind if I have some? He pours you some. Uh, he says, take it easy. It's not It's not for lightweights. Do you drink it? Only a lightweight? Sure. Take a sip. Only a sip? Starting off with a sip. Okay. Make a constitution check. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. What, what do you know? 
That's some juxtaposition right there. It's a uh, 22, uh, and that's 20 on the die. You are able to, uh, as you taste it, you can tell that it is very, very strong. Stronger than any liquor you've ever had before. Okay. Very flavorful, and also uh, somewhat familiar. Familiar? Yeah, you can't quite put your finger on where you've tasted something like this before, but it's it's definitely it's definitely not super exotic. It's something that you could find on the material plane. Hmm. And you can feel it explode in your chest with all sorts of different... Wait a minute! Most, most predominant taste that you have is one of uh, smoke. Wait a minute. Snibley's Tavern? No, not Snibley's Tavern, sorry. I, I, I was guessing, because when I think crazy alcohol, you know. It's not crazy alcohol, it's just super strong alcohol. Okay, I'll think right. about it. For yeah. the moment, just uh, thank him for the drink and just say, well, I would say chin up, but you're in a bad mood already. I kind of got that. I'll leave you be. Yeah. So he continues drinking, you sip your alcohol. Uh, the other two, you wake up and you can go about your daily rituals of whatever that is. I don't know what you, what do you do when you wake up in the, in the morning? Okay. Sharpen my sword. Didn't you sharpen it literally less than 12 hours ago? Yeah, well, <laughs> I pretend to sharpen it. <laughs> um, Hoss is going to repack all his stuff. Um, you also notice that Jarlaxle seems to be very tipsy at this point. Yeah. Did we get a rest? Yes, yeah, so yep, you've completed yep. your long rest. If that wasn't um, I'm going to light one of my torches. Or is there is there a torch lit right now? Or no. magical? Okay. No. So I'm going to light one of my torches, and just so we have light to get going by. Okay. You light the torch. All right. And uh, so, like, and Hoss kind of like repacks and restraps everything. It's ready to move. Uh, Paul, could you mute up, please? Thank you. Uh, at this point, if you check your pockets, you notice that uh, Paul's good berries, or Bruce's good berries, have rotted oh, away. crap. We're going to die. Okay. This is great. Not a guarantee. No, it's, it's fine. Let's go through the Dwarven Fortress. So... Um, <laughs> <laughs> You realize that the, us survive, us going through here was not a, or rather, sorry, him being taken away was not a function of us going through here, specifically. Sure. No, right. this, this is a great plan. Let's continue. I, did, I brought rations, so I'm good. Me too, so. Haas doesn't eat, so he's good. <laughs> We're all set for a while. We've got ten days. So, you okay, wake up, of- you make your way out of the, um... Uh, you begin to finish packing up your supplies and getting ready to head off. Uh, could everybody make perception checks, please? Sure. Uh, 13. 13. Okay. And then that one again. Okay, wow, the dice roller's not liking me tonight. Six. Eleven. Five in total, if you don't... Yeah. Uh, natural one is a natural one. Yeah. Wow. Nobody did very well at all. But somebody at least rolled above a 10, and they're not being particularly stealthy. As you finish packing your gear, slinging them over your shoulders, uh, all four of you can hear the sounds of groaning. And as you turn and look, you can see that the two dwarven corpses on the bed sit up and begin making their way towards you. Uh, I'm going to curse in dwarven. (laughs) Something along the lines of... They... Well, extend their arms like a Romero zombie. And that's where we're going to pick up next session. Okay.